All right, we are live. We are live. Live, live, live. Good time to be alive. <laughs> hey, this yeah. is a good time to be alive. <laughs> Beats the alternative. So how's everyone doing? Doing great. Yeah. Great, great, great. How are you guys? Can't complain. I, I know we haven't chatted that much late this week, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, everything's good. Yeah. yeah. You know, nice weather and... Show them, show them your your. Have you shown them your show them your shoe box today? My shoe box wall here. Yeah, so uh, I'm sitting in the corner. Oh, okay. I, I saw the video. I didn't know you. <laughs> so see, I've even labeled. Oh, nice. right. So yes. when I walk in, this is my headboard where I've been sitting the last few weeks. Right. But so when you come in, you can see, and then over there you can maybe see. I put the labels the other way, and it goes up uh, like twelve rows, and then I was able to. I took apart one of my shell, my plastic shelves uh -huh. to raise it up a little. And down here, I'll probably put shoes on the lower and here. And then, uh, and then, uh, let's see if I can even show you. I oh, super over engineered. I don't know if you can see in no, there, but in the back, that white like, thing, I nailed it to the wall <laughs> even. Oh, wow. And I strapped it to the wall. So, oh, you know, kind of would zip ties what? so did you get your did you get your nail gun out too and uh stuff? still have a nail gun i just use a <laughs> tape measure you just oh, okay. bang it with a tape oh, i've learned over the years moving and hanging pictures that's awesome so i've started to finally get that tomorrow oh. i'll move all my i'm going to upgrade my uh storage unit at least maybe just maybe just go 10 to 10, 10 by 10 for right now right but the prices at this one i have it are so cheap that it's hard to not want to just go up to the you know for like eight or nine dollars more 10 right the 10 by 20 even if it's pretty empty so i'm trying to get back some of my lot in my living room kind of you know have it better for staging and clearing out but you saw you know it just it felt better taking down part of this one shelf like oh my god you know so it's not just so stuff how here since how many how many boxes did you go through um this is 12 by 10, so 132. <laughs> okay. And I still have two or three packs of 25 shoe boxes. Right, the 25 ones. To yeah. ship out. Yeah, yeah. So so I started filling it with clothes that I had finally bagged up. I took Mike from Flipping Goodies advice. I went uh -huh. as I was filling it, put a dryer sheet in each of these. Because some of these what is that? Don't want to screw it up. A8. Um, Brian and I got from that unit and it, the, yeah. I think we figured out it was the dad that smoked that the kids lived with. And so some of my stuff still has that faint smoke. So I'm like, oh, that's easy. So at Home Depot go. the other day, I bought like 200 dryer sheets, you know. To, Mike has a lot of great tips. So I, he really I, does. I, yeah. I love watching. Now, who who's, did you watch again for the... Um uh, for the uh, engineering that the boxes. Uh, Callie on Rally Roots, and then she oh, got it God. from Solange Mina, and Brian sent me that link after I told him. And yeah, she's she's an Egyptian girl that sells a lot of shoes on Poshmark. She does a lot oh, of okay. RA new shoes. Go, go oh, nice! Outlets. Real funny. Yeah, she, she's she's interesting. She's got a lot of humor in her channel, but I mean, it's 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 nice. It's nice. How, how do you like it so far? The shoebox wall? Oh, it's yeah. it's awesome. I, I'm happy because it's it's <clears> like, <throat> I mean, sure. I I I mean, I lose some room in the bedroom, but I'm getting used to the bed being in one corner. And if it means I have, you know, more organization, you know, to be able to like actually list and then store it, then it's worth it. And it the whole be. key is. Then on the, the hard goods is I box, since I like to box stuff as I go. Oh, here's a question. So you, you put your size of your box in your description, right? You know, for your shipping and all that. But then I haven't figured out like when I go to, when it's sold, how to look at it and see those measurements, you know? So while the stuff's been at home, I try to write it on the outside of the box or I just re-measure it again. But I'm sitting here trying to think like, Oh, how do I be efficient if I'm moving all my bigger hard goods, you know, 10 minutes away without having to go get it, come home, print out here now that I have a printer, you know, I'm like, do I, as I'm organizing tomorrow, putting it, you know, going to the listing, putting it like a shelf, a specific shelf system and a shelf itself in the SKU, do I then in the description put the measurements maybe? I don't know. 
Well, there you go. So, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I kind of wait until I sell it and then I box it up and then I have those measurements and I don't, I don't have to do, do that double work. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It could be over, <laughs> but it still makes me feel good to. The great debate of two box <laughs> or not two box. Yeah, are you shipping Super. everything out in a padded envelope, or how how are you shipping everything out of your shoes? Shoes, I've done a mix. If they yeah. can, if they're sturdier shoes, I've done them. I haven't sold a ton yeah. of shoes, but then I sold some of those uh, really nice shoes I got from my ex stepmom. You know that mm -hmm. I sold for like a hundred or hundred fifty mm -hmm. with heels. Yeah. So that was like foam mm -hmm. around the heels. You know in a shoe box and like super wrap those because right. I, I don't want it, the heel to break, but yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like what kind of shoes, you know, Brian or what do y'all do? To me? If, yeah. If, if it'll fit in a padded envelope, it yes. goes in a padded envelope. Okay. And almost right. without exception. I did sell like on a $150 pair of dress shoes. Yeah. And I did put, went, went ahead and put those in the, the priority shoe box. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, so nice. <laughs> uh, you know, I can try and make an extra couple of bucks, but yeah, for, for most of them, I mean, especially if it's running shoes, um, yeah. and just, if they'll fit. Now, I think what I found is you can fit to about a men's size 10 or 11 shoe in there. Yeah. Um, somewhere around there is the cutoff where it's not big enough. Yeah. So, you know, you, you'll save a couple of bucks by doing the right. bag, but, you know, especially when sales are, uh, at least for me, slow, you know, every, every dollar counts. For sure. sure. Which kind of, I guess, brings up our, our first big topic of, of the night. How, how's everyone doing as far as sales? I know I know you sent the message earlier, Scott, that you said Amazon sales kind of bounced back. You want to talk yeah. about that a little bit? Yeah, right, right now I am at uh, seven, about 750 for the day and three. Nine units sold. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I saw that in the chat. That's good numbers. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I'm like three hundred dollars away from uh, six grand for the month so far. So Dang. I'll, I'll probably hit that tonight, if not first thing in the morning. So uh, then, what is your net after? Um, with with the prices that they are now, I'm trying to get at least fifty percent of that uh, take. Okay. On. Uh, maybe even a little bit more depending on the item and the shipping. I am shipping out heavier items. Yeah. Um, so I've been using a lot of uh, US uh, uh, UPS uh, for shipping out like coffee, the Keurig cups in a hundred like that. So but, uh, like, like these, I've been selling these and uh, they only go for a couple of bucks, oh, yeah. but these, these have been going first class. Mm -hmm. Dollar yeah. store, and then I've been bundling uh, these. These what is that? Three of these, and they go for oh, twenty five dollars. Wow. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and then coffee and everything else like that. And Harry, hey, hey Harry, um, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I hit ten thousand last month, and then I'll probably hit fifteen uh, to twenty thousand if sales keep on going the way they're going this month. I'll okay. take it. Home, so. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, that's. And I mean, yeah. Reinvest, reinvest most of that back into inventory and and yeah. try to double it again. I try to do a twenty percent uh, growth each month. Wow, They're nice. Thirty six percent, and I'll go up to like fifty percent probably by the end of the month. So. Okay. Um, yeah. So just uh, reinvesting and getting <laughs> Amazon. I did take a break when I was doing YouTube for January and February. I don't know if I I showed you that, those numbers. You can probably see them here. That's the great thing about Amazon. It tells you everything. But if you look at my graphs for, for let's see if I can do that. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> and then, uh, then, then last month, and then this month is catching up already. So uh, if you guys could see that. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, well, uh, I hit 10 grand last month. And I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably hit like 15 to 20 if I just keep on doing what I'm doing. And resourcing and finding the finding the products, of course, and all that stuff. And then, uh, and then uh, <laughs> the reason I took all that time off is to get my thousand subscribers and yeah, four thousand watch hours, which I did get monetized today. Nice, yes. Yes. today was the day. They finally, it, after three and a half weeks of waiting because of the 
the coronavirus, the virus. About a month to wait, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's nobody, nobody at YouTube <laughs> to, to give you – because, like, Kathy, you guys know Kathy, right? It took yeah. a week and almost less than 10 days. Wow. And she did it right before the thing. <laughs> On this, yeah, it took me three and a half weeks, almost four weeks to get uh, uh, monetized from YouTube. So, well, but you're there, so so now you got yeah. another number got, to keep track of. Yeah, I got that. I got that email, and uh, they, they send you a nice little email and tell you. <laughs> here, let me see what that looks like. I, I'm dreaming here. All right, so congratulations. So there you go. Nice, your nice. partner program. So nice. There you go. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that came today about one one my time. So uh, that's good news, you know. Everything's yeah. falling. Uh, you know, no dumpster diving now, of course, because there's no no stores open, <laughs> or if they yeah. are, everything's getting consumed. And besides the one thing, you know, all that milk that grocery outlets yeah. sent, uh, threw out product. yesterday, uh, just peeking in a couple dumpsters yesterday. But yeah, it's not worth it. Right. So, well, my, my sales, uh, I, I wish they were that good. They're maybe half of that. Um, I think I did about six grand gross mm -hmm. and probably net, I netted 4,100 last month. Um, oh, nice. But, you know, I, I have noticed my sales are down about 50%. I would think, yeah. I would say that there are peaks, there are spikes. Like this past weekend was really good and then mm -hmm. it's kind of been trickling in. So I'll, I think I think I'll just kind of show you. Um, you know, I'll kind of show you what what I've done this past week. <clears throat> Let's see. So so I don't I don't have big numbers on eBay. Um, just fourteen hundred on over the past month, but you can right. see here like it, it it was doing pretty well, and then dead and then i think this was sunday yeah sunday was a good day oh, yeah you showed me that it was this, a big day this, week, this week's been bad um and what about posh yeah i'll, I'll show you let, let me let me see paid and shift and i'll just kind of show you kind of what's selling for me um uh, because i haven't this is just this week I, these michael core sunglasses from a storage unit they sold for 38. Oh, nice. more, head, more headbands a lot of books i had a lot of these books i used to use in my classroom mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah but, i recognize that yeah and they're just they're selling a suit a hickey freeman suit sold for 100 that was nice oh, that's nice this was pretty cool this uh norman rockwall this is a boy scout uh, that is yeah. new sealed puzzle and what i paid 350 for this and it sold for i think 50 a little bit over 50. Uh -huh. So that kind of goes with the theme of people are at home and they're bored. Just like, and I, I talked to you about this guitar. Um, yeah. Video games and guitars. Literally, I listed this thing, this guitar, Hero Guitar, and this one had the, has the cord. And within two hours, it sold at full asking price, which was $49.99 plus shipping. And it was pretty hefty ship, shipping charge. Now, is, is that the one with the handle that comes down? Because I know some of them, they, you can take the handle apart. That's yeah, funny. this this one does not, or at least yeah. it does it easily. Like a lot of them um, yeah. on this back right here. Yep, yeah, exactly. There's a, little, there's a little clip that you can push down, and this top part will come out, yeah. which makes it much easier to ship. So I had to find a, a much larger box yeah, because this would... one couldn't do that. I don't, I don't know about that little black button there. Um, I, I didn't want to break it, so I, I didn't take right. it. Right. But right now, video games, um, books, puzzles, yep. um, soda margarita machine. Um, yeah. was, uh, last week, you us, yeah, a margarita machine. <laughs> Again, Very drinks. nice. I, I saw those. Those were actually on clearance like a year and a half ago uh -huh. at Walmart. I was going to pick them up, but uh, I didn't. When I went back there, uh, gone. Where were, were they on clearance for? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was it was under a hundred. I know it was like brand new. They were brand new. They were like seventy dollars or something like that. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah it, was that was the, it was the deluxe one too. So yeah, probably would have been a good pickup because that that one would have been. Went yeah, I'm life. still kicking myself for that one. <laughs> and that was a year and a half ago. Right, and here's Poshmark. Now Poshmark, I do a lot more wholesale jewelry. I don't talk right. about that a lot. Yeah, um, but like jewelry, jewelry, the lingerie. Hey. You got to keep yourself entertained, right? Hey, um, there's going to be a lot of babies being made. 
Oh yeah, I think you're right. Some shoes from the Nike unit. And that's why I keep telling people shoes and clothing sell really well on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. Obviously, so does jewelry. Um, there's another pair of shoes. Mostly wholesale. I'm probably 70% wholesale on Poshmark. Um, and that area grow more. And and like this watch. So so here's my latest thing. And I was talking to Clay about this. Like so we you know you, we can't go on we can't go outside and source real easily right now. Exactly. Kind of hard to source at all to be honest. If, if, unless you're doing it online. So I bought a lot of watches. These um, vintage, you know, these vintage watches like this Timex, and there were a couple mm -hmm. other brands. So I'm I'm learning watches right now. Kind of doing what I was preaching, learning a new niche. So I'm yep. learning watches and I spent like $12 for like four watches and I got them shipped to me a little uh, online arbitrage, got the batteries, got a little watch kit, replaced the battery on this little watch and it's not going to make a fortune, but the comps are, are about $20 on this watch. Um, and I'm in it about three. So I think, um, I, I think that's a, and Clay always gives me a hard time and, and probably justifiably because I like to try different things, but especially now since I can't source. So I'm like, right. I'm going to learn watches. So I know watches go for good money. And if it's as simple as changing a battery in the back of a watch, you're taking a, a watch that you can get for a couple bucks and selling it for, you know, 20 to 50 bucks. If I can do that in volume, which yeah. I think I can, then that could be another little stream to, to add to the wholesale and the shoes and, and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of how my sales are going. What, what about you, Clay? Uh, here, I'll share. I'll just share a screen right. since I'm slowly getting technology here. Yeah, you uh, got that fancy computer. You should be <laughs> from stream. No, not Streamyard. I want. I have a bunch of tabs. I'm I'm streaming um, on another tab. I'm now streaming. Okay, I'm ready. I'm now streaming. Scott, your channel, Harry's channel, and Brian, your channel. So, well, go, go back, go back and, uh, and uh, start watching my channel with my ads in there. <laughs> see if you see my ads yet. Okay. Um, so, no, not that. That's Harry there. I was, uh, so, I sold um, this two of these my pillows, fifty eight dollars. I paid two dollars each. Mm -hmm. Then I almost screwed up, and I said this in the video that I realized this was labeled differently. I just assumed they were all the same till I saw this sticker on the top. So as soon as I listed it, it sold for $24.99 because mm -hmm. they sent $20. I sent back $24.99 said, can we split the difference? They're like, sure. Um, then this is from the storage unit Brian and I did, $32.19 nice. off of a quarter. Uh, this is a book that my cousin gave me. She was working for this one pharmaceutical company um as a drug rep with a sleep drug so that's why she had this and you can see 123 and the cost to me is nothing so even after taxes i'll give her you know like 60 or 70 percent but it still makes me like i don't know 30 dollars let's just say i keep 30 out of it you know what i mean mm -hmm. yep. it pays a couple meal you know heck that's like four or five days of food um and then wait 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 30 dollars four or five days of food yeah, yeah, if you get a couple pizzas, let's okay. say, yeah, right. yeah, you know, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and then what else? Uh, I guess was the second on. Was that in since last week or? Um, I mean, it's fine. You, you, you know, yeah. Uh, last Thursday, I sold. Maybe I talked about this that uh, makeup case, and then these sweatpants. Oh, yeah, about, yeah, yeah, and the sweatpants waiting on payment. Emailed them a couple times. I'm willing to wait a couple more uh, days. No, you need to open, open a case. Okay. Wait. Yeah, they're not going to pay you. Okay. They're not going to get it relisted. Okay. So decent, you know, hundred and plus what I made mm -hmm. off of a uh, sell. Not sell. I always say that. Um, pirate ship. I mm -hmm. saved. I think ten dollars on one of them. Maybe on the pillows or something. The two pillows I squeezed in a box. They, did you compare that? Because I've noticed recently that no, you said. eBay rates are sometimes better than Pirate Ship. I okay. Think, I think they've dropped their rates. So don't, always double. Okay. Right, right there. Right. Okay. Either way, I mean, I made an extra $12 off 
12 to 15 off shipping. So I made a hundred and fifty dollars or something, you know, off of six. A lot well, of I, that's not even including that sleep disorder book, you know. I don't even really count that. You, you should have bundled that with a pillow. <laughs> oh, good one. Yeah. Disorder than get a good night's good night's sleep. Right. Well, go. I still have another book that she gave me that I have listed for two hundred and twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, your, your cousin's like a, a gold, gold mine. mine. Yeah. Go. Uh, right. She, she gave that. me several more, or no, they're still at her house. I didn't take them. Some more clothes, new with tags. Some yeah, she what, got at Marshalls, but good brands. Because well, basically, you're doing consignment with her. That's a consignment model. So what's yeah? The yeah. What do you keep versus what does she keep? Well, I take out like if I sold something for let's say forty dollars or here we'll do it easier thirty six dollars, then I'm going to set aside twelve for taxes to be safe because that's what I do with Uber, so thirty three percent, and then I'll probably would give her a little yeah, over a third, huh? So all right, so you take out you got twenty eight. How much of the twenty? Oh well, it well after eBay fees and all that crap, then I take out like a third for taxes. And then I'm giving her a little over half. She, we've never really talked about it, and she's not asked. Like the first money I gave her in December was only like fifty dollars, but it was several small things. Now that projector a few weeks ago sold, you know, and now that sleep book. Mm -hmm. um, I was even with her a couple of weeks ago. I sold oh a monitor that she gave me to for cash to actually someone in the running group just saw it on marketplace and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I just, I gave her all of that so that we'd be even, you know, so now I owe her maybe like, I don't know, I'll figure out like 50 bucks or something. So I'm yeah, taking it. I'm just curious about the percentage. I know there's. Yeah, about 40 to 50. Uh, I She's never it. said, you know her. <laughs> She's, I think, doing it because it makes her a little money, but she doesn't need it really. She's just trying to help me. No, yeah, it clears her out. because that that's, you know, I like all, all the different models. That's just another model I was tinkering around with a consignment model. Yeah, if it was mm -hmm. someone else, like, I don't know. Like, I've thought, you know, like Kevin was saying, like, um, well, just asking for free stuff. But, like, let's say if it was a runner that I knew, like, let's say Steve, you know, from used to teach with us, mm -hmm. right? If we got his old running shoes, not old, but, you know, how much would mm -hmm. you start with saying, hey, I'll give you X amount after I sell them, you know, mm -hmm. or do you let them set the... No, I think it, I think you said it. Yeah, and right. I want to say maybe off the top of my head, sixty percent, fifty percent, probably. I mean, then you got to go into well, is it worth your time? So it probably depends yeah. on how much that item's worth. For you know, sure. even if, let's just say for an even fifty percent split, and you wouldn't want to do that on a twenty dollar pair of shoes because no. time's worth more than that. But if it's yeah. seventy five hundred dollar pair of shoes, then you know that's yeah. different. Like with Angie, I'll I've sold a few cheaper things. So like something sold the other day and it was like 20 bucks. So after taxes and fees, it's going to be like $7 each. Okay. I'll take my time. Cause it was a few pictures. Oh yeah. We text about that. That's 28 an hour. And since she's trying to help me, I'm willing to, while we have a good paycheck, I'll do those, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's kind of like all the clothes she said the other night. She's like, well, if you don't want these clothes, if you're just going to take them to Buffalo exchange, I'll just go donate them or something. So that's why, like anything she gives me, I'm selling because she's trying to help me get more what reviews. If, get more what if she gives you something that's not worth your time? What if she oh, there's a couple dollars. that, yes, that I might not real cheap, you know, or like a couple of these water bottles, not good ones like the metal, but these plastic ones, I'm, I'm using those for myself. Like, I don't think she's going to care if I'm using these water bottles or something, but most everything she's given me is like, 20 something and up, you know, with a few pictures or like these tarot cards that she gave me the other day. I think I text you, maybe it was in our group deal. Scott, she gave me like these three sets. She paid 50 for one of them and I scanned it with Amazon and uh, eBay and it's like mm -hmm. 200 something dollars. And so it's not in the shrink wrap, but still I'm going to list it as new in box, you know, or right. something. They know cellophane or whatever, but right. you know, that's a Real good sale there. I mean, now, um, Brian, on on your on your wholesale jewelry, yeah, you, are you yeah. source, sourcing those off of um, AliExpress or, or are you sourcing those off Alibaba? Or yeah, how you <laughs> it depends on the quantity. Um, uh, 
AliExpress, okay. like AliExpress is going to have pretty much everything that Alibaba has. So if it's smaller quantities, it's usually AliExpress. Now, if, if it's an item that I want, say, 100 quantity of, then I'll, I will go ahead and usually go through Alibaba. Um, yeah. you, and and you, you negotiate with them, right? You don't take the price that they say, right? Yeah, I, I almost, man, yeah. It makes me think you have to cut them in half. Don't split the, yeah, I'm, I will try to negotiate, and usually I'm successful, at least partially. Um, yeah. This is just a really good deal. But, you know, the, the, the cost of goods on that is – the ROI is really, really nice. And, you know, you can't really do that on eBay anymore because you, you'd be com competing with them directly. But on right. places like Poshmark, where it's a closed, pretty much a closed market where they, they can't get in there, people yeah. are still willing to to buy that fashion jewelry. And I do a lot of bundling because uh, a lot of that jewelry will be listed at like $20. And I'll, I'll do a, a special where if you buy three, I'll do three for 30 and I usually sell several bundles a day like that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my, my returns a little bit less on that, on those, mm -hmm. but I'm making up for it with volume and I get a lot of repeat customers that way. You should uh, you should go with the ASD in August, if there's an ASD in August, <laughs> in Vegas, because uh, all the jewelries, all all those vendors are there for all yep. those jewelry from, from uh, Alibaba and all those guys, so. Yeah, and, and what I've seen, like my, I think my next step, like one of the sellers, and like this is good advice for anyone. Like, no matter what you're trying to do, is find mm -hmm. someone that's doing what you want to do, and yep. follow them, figure out what they're doing. Yep. Um, and there's a seller on Poshmark that I'm kind of modeling my game after, mm -hmm. and I noticed recently now she's also adding in the more expensive instead of the fashion jewelry. It's you know it's 10k, 12k. Oh, so okay. The one hundred, nice. two hundred dollar pieces. So yeah, I'm thinking that's the next step for me is to add that the more expensive pieces, and I got to figure out, you know, that's where maybe the ASD comes in, or or how right. to find a wholesaler that sells the good stuff yep. at profit margins um, that that allow me to to make some money. What was that thing you said? The show, Scott. In oh, a a a ASD. I was going to go with uh, this month, actually. <laughs> I was going to go. Uh, it's in Vegas, and they canceled it. But it's uh, they, they basically take all the vendors from all over AliExpress and, and uh, uh, Alibaba, and they yeah, go there, yeah. and, and you can source anything from them. Anything, anything you want. You get toys. You can huh. source uh, clothes. Okay. You could source uh, jewelry. You could source furniture. And it's like... Or the it's all the convention center in Vegas, so yeah, it's worth of uh, of uh, finds, and all the YouTubers go there too. So all the, like uh, bearded picker and and uh, uh, homeless millionaire and liquidation OH and and uh, um, hustle pros. They're they were going to go this year. So oh, okay, yeah, I heard, okay. Yeah, so all the guys to go to go a ASD. For all the YouTubers. Okay, I'll write that down to. Yeah, and we have a bunch of trade shows here, which I know are more for like, you'd have to be like, we'd have to have a store, you know, but we have a pretty big World Trade Center here. And when I have driven Uber, it's kind of like part of my Sunday route near just right out north of downtown on, you know, mm -hmm. 35 the main highway. And so it's like, now I should be like, hmm, do I know someone who could help get in or next time there's a, one in town just be like, yep. so what is it <laughs> could you yeah right <laughs> yeah ba yeah basically all, all you'll need is a, a wholesale permit which is easy to get in dallas and texas you just a reseller's permit or whatever okay and, uh, and, then, you, and then you go and uh see what see what the mission fee like asd is free so oh nice uh, and then uh, some of them they charge you know 25 or whatever but yeah whatever. nominal yeah okay. nominal uh, usually, if not, because uh, like some of the ASD people, they they don't like online uh, sellers. Yeah, most of them don't care. So yeah, uh, that's yeah, a, ASD, uh, ASD is huge. <clears throat> but these days, that there you, you wouldn't find as many that aren't selling online. You know, think about the cost the cost it would take to run a, a retail store, especially now, exactly. <clears throat> when no one can can even go shop it. 
So I'll, <laughs> right. <laughs> that'd be a horrible model to be in right now. Yeah, but there, there, there's a trade show for everything, anything and everything you want. You know, jewelry, one for jewelry, one for vending, one for uh, uh, weddings and all that stuff. So you just well, uh, just Google, Google conventions in uh, in your area and, and you'll yeah. find it. A, ASD, we, we should just all be there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. After, after all this, because, uh, uh, you know, we you, you could stay. everybody stays at Harris. And uh, then you just yeah, uh, shuttle down. You know, like what time it took place? Would it take place around the same time as eBay Open? I know they're not doing eBay Open. Well, that's usually, yeah, that's in the summertime. That, that's usually what it is. eBay opens first, and then mm -hmm. after that, ASD. So they're right next to each other. But first. this year, of course, no eBay Open. <laughs> so, so it's just going to be ASD. So they canceled the eBay Open for. Yeah. And we're, we're about to. We were talking about going down to Austin. Um, you know, I'm a member of the Green Room University, and they have a reseller meetup. And I was like, "Yeah, let's go do it." You know, network and do some yep. eat and drink and uh, exactly. do some sourcing. And of course, that that's not happening now. <laughs> they canceled no, it. No meeting and greet. Yeah, I mean, no, no one can. You know, yeah, yeah this one work. There's no garage sales. There's no thrift stores to source. Yeah, there. yeah even there in June, probably. it won't be probably. Uh... Hey, Francie, what kind of doll? When you say Little Miss No Name doll, I don't know. Any, I don't know anything. About I've doll. never heard of that one. Is that Little the real Miss name, or are you saying like it's just a generic? Was it like an antique doll or what? One of those creepy dolls. And when I was talking about doing the watches, it kind of, I think that and I think that's something to think about is. How can you piggyback off what you're already doing? And since I'm doing right. Right jewel, jewelry, mm -hmm. you know, get in on the vintage, the higher quality watches. Um, because I, I watched a video sure. from Craigslist Hunter about a month or so ago, and he was talking about how, how much money there is in used watches and the sell through rate's really high. And, you yeah. know, you, you can find them fairly easily at garage sales, thrift stores, and other places. Oh, uh, here, I'll, here, I'll show you what it, what I found here, I'll share my screen of you. Uh, it is kind of creepy looking, I think. All right, let's yeah, I'm see. ready. Creepy doll. Uh, wait. Let me take her thing off. Her. Oh, my. You Ooh. see these things? Yeah, that is crazy. Isn't that creepy? Oh, wait, is this our Bolo Buzz? Is this <laughs> I, I guess this is what she's talking about. I just typed in and I went to Sold's. Uh, and maybe one of these is hers, even. Where, where did you find that at, Francie? Where did you source it? I yeah, nobody's sourcing anything right now. Or, or was that in her death pile? That is just... Yeah, go to the original listing by the title. Like, uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Man, those eyes. How would you how would you like that thing to be in your room when you're trying to go? God, oh, yeah. you wake up and <laughs> zoom in on those eyes. Oh my oh, god, is uh, creepy. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's sad and creepy. Yeah, you're like, oh, poor little orphan. Oh, look, your <laughs> hands out. <laughs> what is this? This is like, please, sir, can I have a shilling? <laughs> That is so creepy, dude. That is. That is. Man. Interesting. Well, now we know. Look out for <laughs> sad little please, sir. How much did you how much did you buy it for, Francie? Tell, tell us the story on the um, estate sale. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense on the estate sale. She should come on here and tell us. <laughs> I know it, she won't get off her porch. Yeah. <laughs> the weather is really nice. Like it's hey, Calvin. 70 degrees. And you know, it's like in the mid-90s yesterday. So the, the weather's been yeah. nice today. <sighs> estate sale. Yeah, I, I shopped a couple of online estate sales this week. Um, yeah, did you, did you get your uh, NCR cash register? Oh, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so at principal, I, I don't know if I made a mistake. I won it for 450 right? Yeah. And then they messaged me the next day. They're like, well, there was a reserve that no one told me about. The reserve was 500 And I'm okay. like, it's about an hour and a half from my house one way. I'm like, I'm like, no, it's y'all didn't even say there. You didn't say there was a reserve. You know, I'll do 450 because 500 is a lot. Now, I still think, yeah. you know, it's still worth a thousand to two and could be right. easy at $1,300, $1,500 range. But that's a lot of money to tie up in the trip. And 
So I told them no. I, if they wouldn't, I, I kind of expected them to say, "Okay, I'll take four fifty, but they never, they never came yeah, back. Awesome. So that one, that one died. But let me show you. Um, I'll show you a couple of things I sourced. Let's see. Because I mean that that's kind of thing. We got to find different ways to um, to acquire inventory right now. All right, let's see. Now, some of this is just relisted. Um, well, I'll, okay, so so here's one, and I could have picked this one up in person. Um, I sourced this at an online estate, so Harley Davidson 98 okay. Heritage Springer 9. Of course, everybody knows anything Harley Davidson. Of course, yeah. Cool. And I got it for 10 bucks now. They did kind of gouge me a little bit shipping it to me. That's another 10. So I'm in at like 20. But, you know, I I, I I think I can get, you know, 40 to 60. So I can at least double my money. Uh, maybe yeah, somebody's got to want that. Triple. Yeah. And, so I'll, and I'll just sit on it. I'll hold out to at least 50. So I was able to pick that up um, mm -hmm. this past week. And I could have got it for 10. Like if it wasn't, if we weren't in this whole quarantine kind of situation, Mm -hmm. And that's what I was talking to Clay about. Like I found another another source sourcing mechanism through um, through high bid, um, Kelly. And then now th this is kind of interesting. Now these are I normally wouldn't even list this kind of stuff, but I did. Uh, somebody had free toys on Facebook Marketplace, so I picked up a bag of toys and probably not worth my money or my time, but you know that that. <laughs> Sell, selling for about 10 and it only took a couple of minutes to list it was real easy right so i picked up you know stuffed animal the stuffed crocodile you know listed at 18 a um, paw patrol stuffed animal for 18 this is all free a disney plane for 15. this one's cool this pooh bear um uh, it's a disney pooh bear that should be oh, able nice. to get 24. Yep. And, and all this was free it didn't cost anything it was just being on the street, park. yeah, down the street, and that's normally not my my thing. Uh, here's a cool one I picked up at another uh, another online estate sale, and this is and this is what I was talking to Clay. I kind of want to go into the collectibles and um, uh, vintage uh, niche also, and I found mm -hmm. global oils from the 50s and 60s. It's like an eight inch patch, and what did I pay? Um, Oh yeah, this one killed me. Like I think it, I think I got it for like ten or fifteen, but the shipping and and the and the fee they they do a uh, bitter speak. So it ended up costing me twenty eight, but I saw a bunch of them sold right at fifty nine, right, right at fifty plus shipping. But I'm kind of like Kevin, like I'll I'll try to expand the market a little bit, go a little bit higher. So I put up for sixty four ninety nine, you know, mm -hmm. and I'll take forty five or fifty, make, make a little bit, but right. You know, even having some of the stuff delivered, like if I could pick this stuff up in person, which is what I'll do once this is over, the profit margins would be a lot better. Um, but even even mailing them, where's my urn? And even and even mailing them, you know, you can still make a little money. Now this, this was I picked this up for thirty bucks. This is the F mm -hmm. FB Rogers weighted silver plated coffee urn. It's from eighteen eighty three. Um, and this is where I use worth point. And this thing was tarnished. It was like, yeah. like a gray color. And I spent about 30 minutes, not a perfect polish, but. Oh, there you are in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, in. Hey, that means you did a pretty good job if you're in the picture. Well, there you go. Right. And this is a, very, a unique piece. And, and I, um, you know, right, like right there, you can see the, the mark 1883. And that's really cool. And, and, um, like in college, I majored in literature and history, I had a double major. So I've always kind of enjoyed history. So I'm like antique kind of stuff is cool. And one like this sold for $199.99. Uh, so once again, I'm going to push the market. And if somebody sends an offer, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd probably take $150 up. But th these are just, those are just a few items um, I was able to source on on these online markets. Um, so we, so there's still ways to, to source. And I told Clay about this, that I, I picked, I've got 22 pounds of vintage watches. I, I want on an auction on eBay um, that are coming into me and I paid like 120 
But, you know, I, I don't know how many watches are in there. It's a big box filled up of watches. But if if an average watch is maybe five ounces, so maybe three per pound. So, I mean, there could be 60, 70 watches in there for 120 bucks. And I saw some, like some Citizen, some Seiko. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and if they just need a battery and a little cleaning up, you know, I, I could find one watch in there that may pay for the whole thing. Um, so I, I, so I think that that's what we got to be thinking about. And I know Scott, you, with Amazon, like you have a, a tried and true model, but like for Clay and us, um, one-off resellers, we've got to figure out different ways to, to source. What about you, Clay? Have, have you been able to source any? I haven't even tried really since last week and I've just been trying to not go out, you know, really for that reason. I mean, and since I don't, my, I'm trying not to, uh, or I'm trying to get to the next paycheck without, uh, you know, like st stressing too much. Cause what is today? So we got about a week and yeah. I can make it cause like with food here and stuff, you know, a little money in PayPal, but trying not to, uh, you know, just what go out unnecessarily. Wait, huh? you still have a death pile? And I still have a death pile too, along with organizing mm. a death pile. You know, <laughs> once I get that done, Maybe I'll think about it, but until then, if I'm still selling three or four things a week for me, I'm still pretty happy. And I guess I've conceded kind of that, you know, I'll be back next year with you at school. So it's like, okay, that gives me a, another year to, but you know, I'm going to push back, but that's the danger. Don't, don't view it that way. I mean, we got to work our butts off now to make sure. Oh, I know. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I also now though have, a year or two because also the skills I'm learning teacher wise with the Google and stuff online, it'll make my classroom easier where I won't dread the teaching part doing the same lesson six times. If they're doing some of the lessons on the computer during the day, because now that I know it's not that difficult and I can maybe be like you and use some of that time for <laughs> this world, you know, whatever. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> so, you know that that, that uh, fancy said to Mary Kay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That. that that is awesome. That's a pretty good pickup right there. That's that's another thing. If you could pick up any of that stuff. Yeah, we're we're yeah. Here, uh, fancy mm -hmm. so, uh, I know. Uh, you know she does the local market game too. She was in yeah. Rattle, which is my stomping grounds. Um, she's in where? Uh, she she's. She's pretty close to me. I'm in Waxahachie, which is Ellis County, just the mm -hmm. county south of Dallas. And uh, just from her previous comments, I know she's in, in this area out here. Right. There, yeah, there's yeah. I I, uh, I like what you're saying though. Look at other other people's eBay stores and try to up your game. Uh, see the higher price items with uh, eBay. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought about that <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's you know, this is the time to really do your research, and ready for when the dry sale season starts again, uh, because they're they're gonna be all over. You know, these next two months where no, nobody's had one, and then in June when they start having one, they're gonna be all over the place, and uh, everybody's gonna be wanting to get rid of their stuff. So we just gotta wait and uh, get creative. And uh, I, I do sort I do sort of the same thing with Amazon. I'll stock everybody's store. So, like, if, if uh, uh, Brian has his store, I'll go into it, and I'll just scan everything with a, with a program and see what I can sell that makes a profit. So, you know, okay. so there, there's, a, there's a program called Tactical Arbitrage, and you, yeah. you just go into, like, like I've gone into a lobster store and, and scanned it just to see if I could find anything that you sell and that I can sell. Oh, on lobsters? Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Uh, you know, you, you can go into other people's stores and just take their all their ASINs and just scan. Yeah. Them. I, so, I, was, yeah. I, I love Pure House podcast. I think it's really good. Yep. And I was listening yep. to a recent show of theirs, and they had a lady. I forget her name. She's on YouTube. Um, some like the traveling reseller or thrift or something like that. But apparently, her thing is like she goes into um, grocery stores of all places. Mm -hmm. It does some Amazon uh, arbitrage and, and yep. specifically she travels like out of the country, like a lot, like, like say Jamaica, say, say Jamaica, for example, mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of these 
countries like, like Jamaica, they're getting the, they have the older product products that are discontinued here yep. that people still want. So she'll go and she'll hit a grocery store or a pharmacy and just load up as much as she can legally bring back. Yeah. She talking, she's going for a couple of dollars a piece and she's selling them for $60, $70 on Amazon. And so, and it's also a business trip, which is mm -hmm. you know, a write off. Yeah. I'm like, man, what a great model is that to be able to like, travel. That's what Buffalo, remember, <laughs> and Glass City when they popped on with us. Yeah, but the only difference is she's doing it out of country. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think they're, they're doing more of the scratch and dent <laughs> where everything's sort of discontinued. And that's a great area for eBay and Amazon. You can yeah. scan it for more. And uh, whoops. Sorry. That's a good, that, that, that's a good, that's a good nugget. You talk to your family and friends, they're cleaning out their houses, they need money, and bam, bam, you got products. So maybe we should be forcing people on social yeah. media, you know, hey. You know, are you looking to unload some stuff, you know? See, I well, felt weird, like, you know, asking a, a bunch of people. Like, you know, Brian and I talked, Scott, months ago. We'll do it right now. Here you go. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Keep talking. <laughs> um, months ago, before we started this show or anything, we were talking about, like, different ways. We thought about getting a, uh, like, a bin, you know? You see it, like, in a, in a grocery store parking lot sort of thing. Yeah. And um, Brian had researched that. Then my dad used to be a zoning lobbyist here, consultant, you know, big, pretty big time. And so he knows a bunch of people that own like strip centers and all this. And he did put in a call. And I don't know if he heard back because by then I didn't bug him. Brian and I kind of moved on to other thoughts, you know, whatever with storage units. But we were like, well, what if we could get this number of shoes, blah, blah, blah. Or what if we right. could get running shoes? And it's like, I felt bad asking anybody in my running group really because like twice a year they will a couple of the people in the group collect them and they take uh -huh. them down to the homeless shelter. So I'm kind of like, Oh, gotcha. You know, I, I can't, you know, how do you, you know, to undercut when I have a decent job, you know what I mean? But I'm like, I've even felt weird. Like, yeah, do I, how do I ask people? Do I just mess well, text well, a few well, friends or do I post? Is that well, what you're going to Piggybacking off of that, Clay, I'm doing this live right, right now. Yeah. So how, sh how should I put this? And Francie, how, how did you put it? I'm like, hey, guys, as some of you know, I'm a reseller. If you have some items that you're looking to get rid of, I might be interested in acquiring them from you. Just message me if you're interested. Like, like, does that sound okay? Like, I'm just kind yeah. of a very direct kind of person. So, uh, Let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of um, like, I guess, how people do on, uh, um, like when they put the ads in a sense on you know, Facebook or Craigslist. Yeah, I know. It's like feeling odd about it. It's like how and how many people would see my, you know, the number of people also that see a post on Facebook. I still can't figure out that algorithm. I don't. I don't either. But this is more of it's content and. Yep. <laughs> and next week I'll be able to come back and say, hey. Yeah. No one. <laughs> No one messaged me or people told me to get lost or I got, yeah. got a bunch of junk offered to me or. Yeah. My, my, friend, my friend just yeah, did I that on, ask. My, my friend just did that on Facebook today and he said something like that. I, I'm, I'm, he's a, he's a book reseller on Amazon. Okay. He, he did pretty much the same thing. Uh, looking for inventory. If you have anything that you're cleaning out, but also, um, uh, there's a there's an app called Neighborhood. The Neighborhood. Uh, yeah. I have that app. Uh, also, go in there and me uh, put a message in there because that's people close to you. And yeah. You know, easy to pick up. So Facebook sometimes you know it could be in another state like me or whatever. Yeah. But, like uh, I wonder if Kevin did that. Like he talked about in our group thread, you know, whatever yeah. he was gonna put it on the next door app or whatever next door app yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if he did but you guys should do that and then report back on that too yeah yeah, yeah. because it's it's just that whole deal like yeah. why not i guess ask and say hey if you're just getting rid of stuff right instead of trying to do like the consignment deal well you know well, unless they that. come to you something with good i guess the other thing is if you see your friends losing jobs and stuff or or having a rough time you can message them privately yeah, yeah. That's what's just an instant message me that we could chat behind the scenes. Right. Yeah. Can't hurt. Like, I, I, I'll tell you what, though. 
like before I, this is an interesting topic i'm curious what y'all think so before I, I became a reseller i was a lot more timid and like i've even had people notice and say things like you're you're more assertive like you you go for things now and i think having some successes reselling has given me more confidence where i'm willing to try new things because what, mm -hmm. what's the worst thing that's going to happen on that post that i get right. no nothing in? Nothing, yeah. Someone tells you to f off, and <laughs> yeah, and if they do that, they're probably not anyone you talk to. It could be what? Heck, I might, I might hit the gold mine. Maybe Kevin will give me some free inventory now that I posted that. You, you right, know, exactly, you right. Know, right. <laughs> that's not. But, but back to my point that you know, you you gotta you gotta take chances. You've got to be willing to make mistakes and try things and and yeah. learn. From people like Francie, I, I liked her idea. And I'm gonna try it, mm -hmm. and I'll be able to report back. Yeah. Hmm, hey, what's up, hmm, Francie? What did, did I post that wrong? How, how would you handle that? <coughs> hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> they have been horrible for the past couple of weeks. Is it bad in Dallas? Yeah, it's like over twelve, thirteen thousand on whatever their allergies. Yeah, are. I saw that. And it gives me like every time of year my throat gets itchy and like a dry oh, off. I hate it. Yeah, I feel like all that gunk that I almost had gotten rid of, you know, because I've stayed up late and let my sleep get off, that it's starting to come back. Like I took antibiotics mm -hmm. till about last week, you know, and now I'm still taking what like mucinex, but I'm like, oh, if it's still yeah, I almost now feel the pressure. I'm like, oh, maybe I need to text my aunt whose ear, nose, and throat and be like, Look, I know I came in. Can you just send another? Because it feels like it's around, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, and also, like I went to bed earlier last night. You know, it's like I need to get back on like work type schedule instead of staying up till whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can. Yeah. I'm guilty too. Like my bedtime's creeping up now. It's approaching midnight, which is okay. Right. Yeah, I've been getting up around eight. I'm getting eight hours of sleep, which I was probably getting yeah. seven hours, mm -hmm. six and a half to seven before this. Having to get up early, so I, I love it, man. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things I don't love about it, but I love the not having to get up to the alarm clock, right? Get in that sleep and, and being able to stay up later. Like, you know, I do my school stuff in the morning usually. You know, check in a couple of times during the day, but from you know around 10 a.m. till four, four-ish, I'm I'm doing reselling stuff and just checking in on school here and there. Um, and then so by four or five, I shut down and I have family time. So we have our, our, our family time in the evenings. It's almost like a taste of almost what it'd be like to be a full time reseller. Yeah. Right. The, the, the several hours I'm doing the schoolwork. All right. Let me see what Francie said. Let me get some. I must say I'm looking for whatever you're looking for and people respond. But if you put you're selling those things, I don't think it's going to happen. And then they will start selling. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm looking uh, for whatever you know, maybe for. maybe but I, I also think and, and once again I'm a quote pure hustle podcast right and Clay we've been talking about getting the reselling cards gosh I need to do that tomorrow I'm gonna do a Clay note reselling Vista card <laughs> um, yeah I think being up front with people and telling them you're a reseller and not hiding it that I think that can work to your advantage because people be like, hey, you know, some people don't want to mess with eBay, don't want to list things, but mm. if, if they have some nice shoes and they they were thinking about donating it, uh, number one, maybe they just give it to you, or number two, um, you know, maybe we do a consignment model. If it's if it's a hundred fifty dollar pair of shoes, I you know, I can split that with them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I it it's just something I tested. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it does. We'll we'll see. I, I can report back next week. Yeah. Or maybe I just don't have any friends and so that doesn't Because <laughs> I don't really get on social media. To be honest with you, <clears throat> before I was a reseller, I would spend hours on social media scrolling, mm -hmm. right? With the scrolling, comedy. Now that I'm a reseller, I don't. I spend I probably spend 15, 20 minutes a day on social media just for personal stuff. Like mm -hmm. To me, that free time, it's more valuable researching, watching a YouTube video, looking right. up auctions, looking up, oh, oh, speaking of auctions. So there are still a few storage auctions. And last night, last night was really good. You have to check it out. Um, Crocker's Lockers, our guest last Thursday. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. They 
had the the auction pirate on there, and he's like a big time. He, he's got a big time. Yeah, that was bi a big get. It was a really big get, and I was all up in the comments, and we were just you were. I, I mean, yeah. I love that. It was it was really good content, and the auction pirate man, he really knows his stuff. Yeah, told us Crocker Locker, so we were just out there collaborating, talking about storage units, um, and it was some really good content. So if you get if you if anybody out there. Go subscribe to Crocker's Lockers and check out, watch their live video from last night if you're interested in storage units. Some really good content. And like I said, they had the auction, uh, the auction part out there. He, he's, he's big time on, on storage units. And um, so that made me think about storage units again. And there aren't as many now as there have been, but I did find one. Because my daughter, Emma, like she, she, it's funny, she's been asking me, she goes, Dad, I, I'd really like to have a, a keyboard. In the, in the interesting story about a week ago, they had a Yamaha keyboard that was free on Facebook Marketplace. And yeah, somebody beat me I saw that. Yeah. I drove all the way up to Dallas. Yeah. And somebody beat me by, oh, she goes, oh, somebody picked this up 10 minutes ago. I'm like, oh. And oh, then, that I'm, was the thing. Okay. It was worth about 150 uh, pre owned. So bummer. <clears throat> so I was looking today, and, and I think that's another thing is like, I like to sit in schedules where I do certain things at certain times. Like once I'm done with my reselling for the day, my packing, my listing, then I like to spend a little bit of time sourcing online now, right? Looking at a couple websites and the storage units are one of those I still look at. And um, so I found one and it's up in Little M, so don't jump on this one, Clay. And it had, <laughs> <laughs> it has a, it has a keyboard in it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was keyboard. And I know the keyboard itself is probably worth one to one fifty, assuming it's working, maybe higher. And it's got lots of boxes, and some of the boxes are kind of crushed underneath, which means the boxes on top are heavy. Um, and I saw like one bag was like labeled Neiman Marcus. There's a Barbie bag. So you start putting together those clues. It's in Frisco. I'm like, this is some people. They have some money. And you can't really see what's in the boxes, but I see a keyboard. So this unit could be worth some money. And I'm like, and so my approach is I'm going to try to win this thing for Emma, my daughter, try to get her that keyboard. And I will pay up to what the keyboard is worth. And then hopefully, and I'm pretty sure, like I would, I bought three units. So I've made money on all three. I'm pretty sure those boxes are going to have some good inventory that I can resell. And who knows, maybe, maybe there's a, a home run in there in one of those boxes too. So that auction ends tomorrow, um, and I, I'm, I'm going to go for it. So storage units, they're still apparently out there. <clears throat> and I'm pumped up uh, about it. I might have to call yeah. a play, a play one, want to make a uh, uh, What did, did you bid on it already? Yeah, I'm uh, a competing bidder right now. Oh, Thirsting Goods is on YouTube. Yeah. What, are you, what are you winning it at? Currently, it's at 80. Okay. How I mean, many people? Probably fifteen, but it's not nearly filled with that. There's probably ten to twelve big boxes. Yeah, it's like a Christmas tree in a bag, but it's it's a unit that you wouldn't need a big vehicle on at all. It's it could be <laughs> a, a vehicle. Yeah. Hey, Mike. <clears throat> Hello, Mikey. And Mike is in the house. Mikey, Mikey. Speaking of doing units. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mike. So I I think I got this from you off of one of your uh, videos. Um, I built my giant storage wall here. Here, I'll show all the, the, the people still <laughs> watching here. Uh, you can, uh, oh, wait, let me go to the screen yard I was watching. So I built this giant shoe box wall to store clothes in, right? And then uh, Mike, I think it was your idea and it makes sense to put a dryer sheet in everything, all the clothes. So that's what I did. I went back today as I was filling the the whatever slots or shelves in. And I told them, I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of your videos. So thank you. I'm pretty sure it was you. I oh okay. that too. <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. See? I'll show you something. All right, this may be right, here we go. Tell me what you think. So I, I was just looking. I got a like on that post. But here, here's um oh, a little piece. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, they're getting a whole thing. It's still really good. 
What is that? Special guest or Zoom special faculty? Special guest or Zoom faculty test. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. And I thought that was you for a second. <laughs> it does, <laughs> it, like, it does. <laughs> all like, right, all right, all right. All right. I'm like, dang, Clay's making the round. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. That is. Yeah, I ain't got time for I mean, <clears throat> I should be doing more reseller related, and I'm getting better, but I'm like, I'm not on like, yeah, social media every now and then I'll check or, mm -hmm. do, you know, but I'm like, if I'd rather, if I'm not doing, the, you know, eBay, YouTube, I'd rather just sit there and watch internet than Facebook. Like, what am I going to see? You know? And like, even the news, I was right. super fascinated at first, but it's all just depressing still, you know? So if I'm not doing this, I've gone for a few walks and I'd rather, you know, watch TV. Yeah than facebook yeah well and i mean that so so what's everybody's schedule looking like um has it changed any um since we got more time we're at home what i mean i talked about mine you know i get up at eight ish mm -hmm. switch over to reselling check back yeah scott what's yours because <laughs> how old are the, the oldest kids again oh uh 12 and then um a nine and eight and then yeah the, so so they're at home now so yeah well everybody's home because uh, yeah so is your sketch your schedule wake up time still just yeah the, it's same. Still the same and then i go out and then uh with not having to go pick up the kids and everything i'm home by noon <laughs> okay so uh, I, that's when i start shipping because i've been just shipping out 30 40 uh items a day now so the rest Afternoon's shipping. <laughs> is, that all, is that FBA or, or merchant fulfilled or a combo? Yeah, merchant merchant fulfilled for those, and then uh, I still have products still at Amazon shipping out. I still have like uh, ten orders a day from Amazon because I still have stuff there. But uh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting slimmer and slimmer each day. But uh, yeah, mo mostly MF. So. Uh, Still great, great margins, great profits. So I'll, I'll ship all day long. I, I, on ordering more boxes. I, this came in today. This About an eight box. Uh, six, six by four by fours. And the, this is the uh, um, eight by six by fours and then six by four by fours. So I, I get those off eBay. And right. I, yeah, that's what I is, is what I'm going out of, running out of quick. The so. small ones. Yeah, the small ones. Because yeah. that's what I guess a lot of your items are small, right? Yeah, I try to do everything under a pound so I can like ship first class just like eBay. You, know, you just do. throw in like bubble wrap or paper. Or yeah, something? I, I poly bag everything and then uh, and then if it if it's uh, um, if it if it's like I was all garden sauces, you know, or my yeah. sauces or whatever, I, I ship those out poly, you know, with the bubble wrap and stuff. But okay. Most most of the stuff is just uh, filler paper if it doesn't. But there's, yeah. there's I use like, newspaper. Yeah, and, and this isn't too much room. You know, there's not too much room in this. Yeah, because yeah. well, my dad that. still takes the newspaper, so oh, it's yeah. like he can in a week. You know, it can be a good size stack or oh, whatever, yeah. and yep. he stacks it in a cabinet. And last time I went to his apartment a couple weeks ago, before they really were like, you know, and I shouldn't have gone in maybe then, but his both his TVs were out and it's got nothing else to do. We can't go to ball games. So I did that, right. but I emptied, I took his trash and all the stuff. He lives in a high rise down to the trash chute, but I was like, I'm going to mm -hmm. keep a little stack here. So when I get it, I don't know when I'll see him again, right. you know, but I was like, it'll build up. And it's, I use a lot of that in December. I was using like wrapping paper that I mm -hmm. gotten for like a, some, I bought on purpose, a dollar roll. Right. And I'm like, yep. You know, I'll pop because now I'm like you, I'll poly bag a lot of items mm -hmm. depending on what it is to be like, oh, I don't want it to get wet in case exactly. I don't know. I just have started realizing, oh, I don't want whatever it is, a book or something. So if I have to, I'll put two poly bags, seal it up, tape, then mm -hmm. put it in the box and then newspaper. And I'm like, they won't care. They, they won't care. Yeah. You know, on the newspaper, but depending on what it is, that print can't well, that's why that's I'm cool. doing the poly bag. Yeah, okay. You know, or or the um like whatever the brown paper I bought at Home Depot, and I'll wrap mm -hmm. something in that, you know, tape it, and then 
maybe bubble wrap and then put the newspaper. Yeah. Cause I don't want the print. Yeah. Cause my hands end up, you know, all dirty from the newspaper. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, by the way, congratulations. Uh, first off, yeah. Mike, that's nice, man. Uh, uh, that vintage electronics bow. I also yeah. love the vintage electronics. I, it was that from an estate sale, Mike. Um, I'm assuming and congrats Francie, on, I guess that's going to make you a grandmother, huh? Congrats. on oh, that. That, that is awesome. That is good. I told you more babies. <laughs> <laughs> he was right, guys. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, congrats on that. What this next round of baby names will be? Because uh, on my wholesale jewelry, I sell a lot of the nameplate mm -hmm. and so I will go back to research like popular baby names in the year 2000, 2002. Uh, I wonder if the coronavirus is going to influence. Well, did you see that? <laughs> um, Scott, we have a friend, Kathy. She teaches right next door to me, same subject, and Brian knows her. And she posted on Facebook last week that a couple somewhere, they had twins, and they named them Corona and COVID. It's oh, terrible. Wow. You're that's like, terrible, that's yeah. why I think it's like Denmark or the Netherlands where they have like a like authorization where they're like, just no. Like, right. we're just not allowing... Yeah. And I'm for most things, but I'm like, that's why I tell my students at some point it comes up. I'm like, think about what you're naming your future children. You don't right. have to walk around with that name. I'm like, guys, <laughs> I actually heard of a person one time is like on this sports station here and they're talking about names. And the last name was Stein. Can you guess what they named the first name? Frank. Frank and the middle yeah. initial was in. And you're oh. like, mother truckers. <laughs> Hey, like English, English teacher, I kind of liked it. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah. But I was like, what if for some reason your last name began with a K? Don't name them Francis Ulysses. Oh. You know, and their initials and like what? And yeah. I'm like, Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, be careful of that. So, Mike, um, you bought out the uh Bought out a warehouse. A warehouse. Yeah. So now, do you have an update, Mike, on um, the warehouse you were looking at, or are you just going to rent another unit? You know, in the in the storage oh, place, yeah. right? Because how how much like how much space is that taking up? And secondly, how did you find out about that warehouse? Do you want to pop on, Mike, and just talk? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just send in the link. Yeah. Just the the version. If you want, Mike, or whoever. Yeah, let me let me get the code here in case somebody wants to pop on. Yeah, but yeah, that that's I like that thinking outside of the box, right? That that is amazing. Yeah, that's that's what you gotta be doing right there. Exactly. Now's the time to be creative. All right, here's the um here's the code. Anybody wants to pop on, especially anybody else wants to do my own videos right now. <laughs> <laughs> It was the power of the bit. Yeah, see, this is what there I was. Go, yeah, I, uh, I, I gotta get my. Uh, I usually order mine for garage sale season, but I haven't ordered mine yet. So I I need to get new ones with dumpster diver dad and then. Yeah. Oh, someone! Oh, it was pure hustle. <laughs> Brian, did you listen or watch the news? Yeah. So I, I watched, well, listened to the last two, and I liked how they had that Gary V. They showed his video and talked about it. But yeah. I could swear on one of those videos. Well, no, maybe it wasn't them. It was someone else I was watching. This no, guy. They did a reaction video. Of well, yeah. But what I was going to say is, I don't know if it was on them or I watched this guy who I had subscribed to and he watched my video the other day, eBay Poshman. Um, yeah. oh, okay. I think it was him or maybe it could have been. They said like on the back of their business cards, they'll even put what they're looking for. So if you give them that card in the future, like how Francie no. said specific. So that's when I wrote down, of course, on some piece of paper earlier, you know, I was like, well, if I was going to put down just a few things, what would I? That's a good question. All right. So that's the question. I, I like that. On your business card, what, what would you put on the Max you would put on there? What would they be? I would think like electronics. Uh, but you got to be more specific. You got to put vintage. Like vintage. Yeah. Yeah. Vintage, right? Yeah. Uh vintage electronics. Pillows. Designer, designer clothes. Somewhere. Yeah, designer clothes. Pillows. 
huh? <laughs> yeah, right. You design your clothes. Uh, how would you say for like the nicer shoes, like um, slightly nice. worn? But, on the on the designer clothes, put designer uh, purses on there too. You might want to find. Oh yeah, those uh, nice purses. Like, was that Kevin that had those purses that was on sale, or was that somebody else? I'm thinking of that had was was that yeah. selling the purse last week. There you go, okay. uh, Mike says his heart says if need to sell, contact me. Oh, I like that. Do you specify on yours, Mike? Like the things you're looking for? Or is it generic? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, Francie, I get these off the boxery on eBay. They're like 30 bucks. I really like those six by four by four. I usually get them yeah. from eBay, but uh, okay. I, I ran out. <laughs> Pike said you need a tinted. Yeah, I know. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. If you were just going to put a couple, a few things. Yeah. I just wrote it down just because I'm like, well, I'll ponder when I get the cards made or, or i think like um harry like uh you know do buyouts or whatever he is <laughs> that could be anything like oh yeah you know i i, I do buyouts and, and uh, if you have anything of oh i see mike good point yeah if yeah. you list they will not call yeah so I'm okay an email, so an email a phone number well, we'll just do this with that that dot dot idea then. <laughs> Tomorrow. So, at the end of the day, ask me if I ordered uh, business cards. That's a, a must. I've been. I've been. I, yeah. The... Remind me tomorrow too. I gotta work on that. i yeah. I pretty much picked like a logo. That guy, you know, he's from Fiverr or whatever. I just need to get back to him and say yep, and then say here's what I want on the back side and have him design the back. Well, for, for, you, for a card. Yeah. And even Vista print, like you don't even have to, you could just do a generic one too. Like, oh, like yeah. Texas Treasures without a big crazy logo on it. Yeah. But since I paid for that, I want to have like that, you know. And then, so then there was someone else that had the debate of on some video or something like, do you put a, the thank you card in there or not? You know, and I can't remember who that was I was watching. And, um, oh, it was Kat. I think maybe a nurse. Oh, okay. I feel like it was maybe Calvin was on the other day or something. And she was like, I used to, but with work and driving and blah, blah, blah. She was like, I've sold 3000 a year items or something for several years. And I only have like 1200, you know, the percentage was low compared oh. to, she yeah. was like, so, you know, oh, like, all right. So let me show you. Cause I, I did buy the business cards. I'll, and I got them off of eBay also. The brown uh, thing. Well, no, that was for Posh that you gave me, off. right? Let me check out this offer real quick. This was a this is a garage sale. This is a, a garage sale find. The internet's working on hamster time. Um, Craftsman Mini Air Pond. Now, this was a guy that that I remember. I talked to him, and I, I wish I would have had business cards when I talked to this guy. Because he used to do auctions and he had all this inventory like this. This is new, like new dead stock mm -hmm. on Neller gun. Yeah. The tag 4797. Wow. Um paid eight dollars for it. And so what's the guy offering? 33. Usually, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna accept that because I've had it for a while. And what was was what were you what was your price and what was his price? Eight. The, the buy price was eight. Oh, gotcha. He's offering 33. Just make sure there's no free shipping. Yeah. I mean, it's close. Yep. Enough. If usually yep. if it's 30, 40%, depending yep. on what I paid for it, I'll go ahead. And then I like to um, go ahead and send the invoice. And Clay, there was something that you asked to, uh, what the heck? Uh -oh. What's that? Never seen that. Down your account. The item can only be updated on the site listed. That's weird. It doesn't even make sense. Kind I've never of. Seen it before. Let me try that again. Huh. Well, I don't know. You got uh, too many tabs open. That's why. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm crazy with the tabs. Brian's Mr. Tab. I have. Some. I am too. I have That's how my mind works. 
And uh, in the chat, there's eBay Poshman. Yeah. Yep. I told him. I commented. Um, you got the uh, link. Uh, yeah. He needs to come on. Yeah, if you want. I what I said when I watched his video. He's got a few hundred subscribers. I thought he had some good knowledge. He went. He can tell us about it if you if you want to come on. And he went to a, a thrift store wherever he lives. I think I feel like Kentucky said maybe like a week or two, a couple weeks ago when they were still open and got like 16 pairs of shoes and he's showing them all showing and they're all these like really good like running shoes and stuff i mean you know just had a whole ton of good crap oh my gosh my internet is like all right well, i'm gonna back out of there because <laughs> that is just hamstring but anyway the, <laughs> the point was I, I i bought um i did buy the business cards and i bought them on ebay for about 50 bucks. I think I got like 2000. They're pretty nice. Got the eBay logo. You know, if, if you know, if you got any problems, contact me. If not, please consider leaving five star feedback. And I, I add a business card to every order. And since I started doing that, my, and that's why I was going to show you like the number of sales versus my feedback. Like I'm at 116 on feedback, but I, I've only had maybe 250 sales since last August. So I'm, that's a good, percentage is really good and yeah. i didn't notice for me at least once i saw those cards it really shot up so I, I would encourage everyone to at least try it because i think on ebay having good feedback is important um yeah so yeah lately i've gotten more and i haven't put anything i haven't handwritten at first i was doing handwritten ones um, on the outside of the package i might write yeah. a generic note with not giving away what someone you know had inside the package Mm -hmm. But um, it's like, I guess since I started, I have like 36 reviews and I've sold like, oh, I don't know, probably like 80 or 90 things. So maybe a third or something, which seems, <clears throat> I guess, seems OK with, with not doing, you know. Yeah, it's not bad for not doing it. Like, yeah. I agree. If you're giving away a thank you card, that is a lot of waste. That is a big waste of time and money. I, give me a thank you card. <laughs> I would disagree. I, I I think, like I said, for me, the thank you cards, my percentage, it's well worth it. Fifty bucks. Once again, it's a it's a write off. So really, cost wow. you, and it's coming off your taxes. And if it improves my feedback twenty thirty percent, hey, that's a win. So I mean, mm. each their own, but for me, it's working. <clears throat> and it's not a waste of money if you. That's that's what they were talking about. Um. Last night on a lot on Crocker's lockers, like they're using an older, like kind of what Clay was, an older iPhone for their videos and their 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 pictures. And I was telling them, I'm like, you know those, you know, I upgraded. Like I, I'm I'm a Galaxy guy, but I upgraded to the the newest Galaxy, you know, and it's a write off. Like I, I wrote yeah. my taxes because I used it, or I wrote, I think I wrote off eighty or ninety percent. When did I get that? Mine is almost all business, other than you know a little bit of personal stuff. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes investing, investing in your business, whether it's a phone or tech, whatever technology or business cards, yeah, um, you're you're gonna get a bigger return long term. Oh, I feel like for sure. I mean, because I went from, like Brian knows, I bought this like uh, off of Facebook Marketplace, um, a simple light box, you know, and it mm -hmm. just was not good. I was trying to add all these like running lights I had to train. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and so that's when I was just like, F it. And then I bought, bought one off of Amazon, paid that off after like a month or two. You know what I mean? So it's, it's mm -hmm. like, cause I don't mind saying I got credit card debt, but at least I own yeah. that dang thing. The microphone, I paid it off or I will mm -hmm. soon. You know, it's like I upgraded with the webcam. The phone has been worth it for the pictures, you know, and the videos. I mean, so right. it's like, Sure, the write-off, but I'm like, okay, there's not much else that I need to. I'm like, I don't think technology-wise, there's anything else I could do for a you know, long time now. You yeah. know, well, I, bought, I bought the GoPro, but oh, besides, yeah, yeah but yeah, since so we're not going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally because I was all gung ho, and like, yeah, now I'm like. My GoPro sitting. I just need to figure out a good mount for my car. I ordered one; it didn't fit on the the uh, the uh, rear view mirror. So right. when Brian and I are together, I can make more of the in car talk videos. Mm -hmm. You know, because I need to work on one of those. I have all this footage. 
you know, because yeah, I figured I, that could be a good series for me. I got some pretty good feedback on that one um, Roxel video, so I was excited. I'm ready to do more. But yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I'm ready to do more too. I know all of us, and and right now the other thing, there's so much YouTube content being pushed out because people have so much free time. Yeah, that it's even harder to, to get traction. <clears throat> Probably not sure. Yeah, because everybody's at home watching, it, making videos. I watched Everybody's a guy video, today yeah. besides eBay Poshman. Oh, nice. Uh, Tesla, what was his name? Tesla Picker. Yeah, uh, the yeah, I guess that was it. I liked him. I hadn't watched him yet. And he makes these really cool. Uh, he can Tesla picker. Yeah. Yep. Custom socks. What, what, uh, Tesla? What, Tesla? I don't know. I, he, I'm i not sure. He just, I, he just had a good video. He has like good editing and little sound effects and his kids came in and he, you know, like the, the, the socks. I was like, Ooh, I want to order some custom socks. I need to think <laughs> of like, what do I want to put? Like, Yep. You know, someone's face or, you know, whatever it was. But, uh, yeah, he was just, I just, it was entertaining. I commented, I was like, dude, you should have more than, he's got a couple thousand uh, subscribers, I think. He had 2.91, but I'm like. Well, that's what Kevin's on. You know, I thought he was his. Sometimes uh -huh. it's not a matter, it's not, like your subscribers won't reflect how good you are. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, about, that's what oh, I told him. I was like. Uh, yeah. here, Kevin and some other they're putting out and they just yeah. haven't haven't hit it but i, I think over time um I, I think i think good content will win out <clears throat> and i'm yeah. not saying my content's that good like and there's a learning curve too even uh, the auction para was talking about some of his first videos and they were terrible so there's two ways to look at it right you can just get you can just feel embarrassed or whatever and shut it down or you can mm -hmm. keep going and you'll get better right. like yeah we'll people on here on these lives I remember the first one. It, oh, you know, cringy. It's <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. <clears throat> and that's, uh, I know some people are watching, and that's uh, uh, fine. That's great. I hope we're helping or we're entertaining or or something. Mm -hmm. And even my, yeah. like, I texted Brian yesterday, Scott, and I said, how is it three people disliked my video? I'm like going, uh, yeah. can you me for a second? <laughs> But then, and I went over to my cousins and we walked and I was like going, she's like, why would they even bother? And I was like, I know, right? I was like, but still they watched a few seconds. Yep. I was like, I can drag that watch time up myself, you know? Um, but I was just like going, whatever, you know, if you at least watched a few seconds. And Brian mm -hmm. wrote back, he said, well, it's because probably because nothing was edited. Right. You know, as Mike says, no editing. Yeah, see, yep. you know, hey, for me, hey, at least I hooked my TV up. I'm trying to do a little better, <laughs> but I'm just trying to get more out there. I thought I had decent content. <laughs> told people. And I'm not an expert, but, but here's my opinion. Like, I think you were somewhere in between, like either try to do it on this with screen sharing yeah. or just do it all organically where you're just yeah. things up. But like the. The monitor in the background and track is just is too much. Too much, but I get what you're saying. But I, it was still good content. I watched. Yeah. I, I so maybe up. just share the yeah. con the screen, but voice it. Yeah, and even a thumbs down is good for your metrics. It's exactly. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what I figured. Like whatever. I don't <laughs> care. You still freaking watched, even if it's ten seconds, idiots. Yeah. Sonny's uh, Instagram game's on fire. He's been posting a lot on Instagram. See, and I don't get on, I'm on Instagram now, but I don't really, you know, I had one in the fall uh, along with a, uh, a a YouTube with random videos right. and they had like a hundred something subscribers and there's a story I'll tell you behind, but I'm trying not to get on there because I don't want to end up just getting time sucked like Facebook. Mm -hmm. I admit all, every few days I spend like 30 minutes on TikTok. Cause I just get sucked into watching all these families learning all these new dances, you know. And I'm like, I don't want to end up just getting time uh, sucked. I get sucked into that. Facebook, I admit, all every few someone's days, got there. Yeah, just, yeah, you, you, yeah. I just get sucked into watching all these families learning all these new dances, you know. Yeah, you've been talking about YouTube. Yeah, you're talking about YouTube. Every someone's got there. Yeah, just. 
Yeah, you, you know, you know, you know, it's fun yeah, to watching all these families. Yeah, you can see the the you can see the video. 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 You yeah, just tell him to let us know once it's. He's got yeah, it. so if you, eBay man, yeah, the, you probably have another tab open. We've all learned that lesson. So mm -hmm. if you have another tab open with the YouTube, mute that one, because okay. your sound will come through yeah, the stream. Okay, I got you. Yeah, so oh, now we're good. All right. You probably have another tab open. We've oh. all learned that. Lesson. So okay. if you have another tab open with the YouTube, mute that one. Yeah, just close the YouTube one. Okay. All right, I'm going to mute you just for a second, Eva, so you can uh, just close that YouTube tab because stream Yeah, you want to tell them, Scott, you're you our IT guy. Yeah, so you, on your tabs, you'll have a YouTube one that you're watching us on. Close that one off and then just watch us on StreamYard. You'll be, have the StreamYard app open, and that's the one you want to use. <laughs> but otherwise, these sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's coming across players, so. <clears throat> so what were we talking about? I, I lost our trainer. Um. Oh, uh, editing. editing. Oh, editing videos and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I think like the only one, like for me, it'll it'll be the garage sale um, video that, that takes some editing because it's mostly a lot of cutting, right? Right. But even my what sold and whatnot, I, I do very little editing now. Just. But but I, I think there is a place for it in, in some videos. How, how many how many times are you uploading now, Brian? Man, I've slowed way down. Um, I do one a week the what sold. I do one a month the fifty dollar polo sells, and I do our live. And I was gonna I was gonna do the garage sale videos, but obviously that's not happening now. Right. And maybe I should get back to it. And and the Poshmark closet reviews we're doing well. And I've kind of got away from that. Yeah, I was thinking right. about that. I've kind of pulled back. I kind of took Kevin's advice of just kind of getting back to the basics, less YouTube, more more listing and reselling. But there, there's a balance in there somewhere. There's a balance. Hey, hey eBay Posh man, thanks for joining us. What um, what, what's your first name? Matt. Matt. Oh, Matt. Okay. Right, yeah, nice you, to meet you. You can hear me fine. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. It's all good now. I know the lighting's not the best in here. Oh, it's fine. Mine. That's was, fine. I, mine too. Uh, I like Clay's I on coming on. I just seen you guys were on and no, I we. I've checked, out, I've checked out several of your videos. I, I like what I see there on the Playhouse, and um, so you want to you want to tell everybody a little bit about your reselling story and just kind of. Yeah, yeah. I know <clears> this this is a little nerve wracking to me. I know you guys know what I mean. Jumping yeah. on here for the first time. Yep. But anyway, my name is Matt. I'm a um, full-time reseller. I've probably been selling a uh, little over a year. Uh, I left my factory job. I had a factory job for seven years and and resold on the side. And, you know, one day I was just uh, sitting in the factory looking around. I was like, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? <laughs> and, you mm -hmm. know, I pretty much made up my mind, you know, I was ready to jump out of the boat, you know, sink or swim, and yeah. it was tough. You guys know the first three or four months, it was really tough. Struggled and got on my feet, and things leveled out, was going good. Then uh, we're dealing with all this uh, coronavirus thing now, and it kind of threw a wrench in what I was doing. But, you know, I also do some uh, DoorDash, some Instacart. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Other side hustles, so everything yeah. is is uh, working out. But you know, I'm ready for the thrift stores to open up again, and right. and uh, 
I didn't so, have a huge uh, death pile or, or anything. <laughs> I tried not to oversource, but I know, man, right? Come back to bite me on this one. Uh, but you know, well, that's what we always <laughs> preach. Don't, don't have a death pile, right? Don't have a death pile. And the one time, yeah. Death pile. <laughs> yeah. What, what's what's the one guy who's on the the live streams with uh, with you all? Who's got the the whole room behind him is full. I know you know who I'm talking Kevin about. Kevin or Bill. Yeah. Yeah, Bill's, owner, Bill's, right? not, Bill's not running out of anything. No, <laughs> we can all go and source there for yeah. years. Yeah. He'll help us out. Yeah. So, right. did you quit your like all of a sudden? Yeah. Just be like, I'm done. And the next mm -hmm. day, you were all full time and yeah. had to ramp it all up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It was all. It was all or nothing. You know? Yeah. And how long have you been doing uh, YouTube? Oh, not long. I just, uh, when I first started, I just started pumping out videos mm -hmm. every day. And was that hard to get started doing that? What was your, how did you feel when you first got it started doing that? Because I know for me, it oh, was nerve wracking. Oh, oh, super uncomfortable. Super. <laughs> uh, and and it still it still is. I just try not to think about it. I mean, you right. sometimes you think you might make a good video and it don't get any views, and yeah. sometimes you make a video that's not good at all and people like it. So you never know. Uh, let let whoever's watching be the judge of it. You know, just right. yeah. You, you had one one of your earlier ones, I think. I, I, you were walking around like, and you were talking. It was kind of an inspirational video. Yeah, yeah. And I, I really liked that one. I was like, I, I like the inspiration. I saw the passion and um yeah and I'll tell you what, like Kevin's Kevin, uh the thrifty mom, she's usually with us on Thursday nights. Man, he's always talking about you, uh, Matt. He's he 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 I think he sees the same passion that I see. And I think in the long run that that passion and that drive will, will pay off, man. So just keep plugging at it with the reselling, the YouTube, and mm -hmm. I think you'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. Th thanks. Thanks. That means a lot, you know. The whole reselling community. Uh, knock on wood, I've never met uh, too many of them who, you know, I mean, you can just relate to each other, don't matter what background, uh, whatever you are, you just got a, something to bond you with them, you, you understand each other. Kevin's a cool guy, you know, I talk to him a lot on Instagram, DM him a lot. I know he's busy. I didn't know him before, you know, I just recently got to right. know him, but Yeah. Yeah, um, Kevin's a really good guy. A lot of knowledge. That's tonight, he is it? Yeah, where's he at tonight? Like, <laughs> it I is weird. That he might, he might pop on. I'm surprised he isn't. An hour 30. Hey, maybe he took the whole night off. Or maybe he thought you guys were going to go four hours again. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> or should I search and see if he's on another channel right now? Yeah, that, that's true too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, so yeah, he, he, he man, might just be laying low. Yep. Yeah, Since Kevin, he's been quiet in the chat this week, maybe he's just listing mm -hmm. and hanging out with Ashley and and his kids. Right. Since they, I know they live close. He said. Yeah. yeah he, how, he actually, how, uh, long have, uh, how long have you guys been doing YouTube? Each of you, just just curious. Four months, and I got monetized today. So yeah, that's, that's so fast. Uh, wow. yeah, four months. Yeah. I thought so, uh, that's amazing. Like years. Yeah, yeah the, the dumpster diving community and the eBay, Amazon community just swept me up and and subscribed and took me in. So oh, that's amazing. It, it, it is amazing. Yeah, and then I got the letter today. I was showing the guys earlier uh, that uh, I finally got monetized today. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I probably won't get a check for her with all the <laughs> things going on. I probably won't get a check for another four months or whatever. Uh, at least, uh, at least I'm in the program. So, yeah, that's uh, and, uh, and uh, I could get super chats. So, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. uh, Mike. Um, oh no, Dave, uh, Midwest Picker. He says it's going to be my first super chats. Nice. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see how much he ponies up. We'll see. Five dollars. When's your next live going to be? Uh, probably uh, tomorrow or the, or the, uh, on Saturday. I was going to do it tonight, but this was uh, on, of course. So. Or I got really you. Cool. Shoot me a message. Just remind me before. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. But yeah, super chats and all that stuff, and stickers and all that stuff. I, I'm excited to see uh, yeah, what uh, 
And, and, and I, I got this week, I'm going to work, well, this week or next week, I got, I'm going to get a PO box so people can send me stuff. But Kevin's going to be sending me, I, I bought a couple things from Kevin this week. And he's you gonna know, be sending Kevin know where you live. That's yeah, good. he does know where I live now. I, I had to, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now he knows. But, uh, one day we should all plan a trip down to Florida and go bombard him. Yes. And, and see what you, you know, go, go grass song with him, but. Yeah, maybe uh, Kevin's a great guy. Race. <laughs> yep. Uh, for me, for me, Matt, um, like I started in the fall. Well, I started my YouTube channel probably last summer, but I only did like one or two videos and then kind of got away from it. Didn't like the the original result. Kind of like you felt real awkward about it. And then I was like, during during the fall, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to give this a year. No expectations. I don't right. really care about getting monetized. If it happens, great. But, you know, just kind of record and and um and you know it's i'm at like 530 subs you know i'm trying to get to the thousand and the four thousand it's really slowed down i had a nice spurt for a while yeah but, but what i it. it's kind of like what you were saying matt is the community i think i like that more i love coming out here on these these live shows and man we learn so much so many nuggets from from all these good resellers and guests we have on and just the social aspect, it's, it's good to, to get to know people and just that social element. Right. What about you, and then I st I had a previous YouTube channel, but it was not related to reselling. Like at that point, I was starting mm -hmm. to kind of learn from Brian and I teach together. So we've known each other like 13 years. But last spring, we really started to get to know each other when I'd go riding with him and created mm -hmm. the biggest death pile ever. Um, not really, but compared to, I never listed. So he'd walk by my room and be like, dude, and I'm like, no, I have it. But I had a YouTube <laughs> channel of just entertaining videos. And I admit kind of the target audience was my students. So a lot of them watched and it was Larry. Brian thinks Larry could be a good character. Larry, I need to, freaking interesting. One day on our live show, I should show part of a Larry video. You come on. Our live show is Larry. Is Larry. Okay. <laughs> um, and so I had that, but long story short, I ended up taking it down. It School didn't like that I had it or that kids watched, so blah, 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 whatever, fine. So then I finally started this, like, right before we started this. And this is, what, episode, like, 10 or something? So we started this in February, I guess? Yeah. Or January. And I only had, mine was my first subscriber, and then I think, like, my mom was the second, you know, and... So it's like he had his spurt from like, what were you at? Like 86? Yeah. To the, you know, to like go back three weeks, he jumped over 500. And mm -hmm. I've grown to like 108 now. And some of that's, I think, doing this, you know, pop. I popped on like the Canadian reseller show the other night with Jody. And I got like oh, nice. seven people. But I've you can see I've not made that many videos. I'm trying to start. It's that deal. Consistent work on eBay related more, you know, so it's that long-term deal. And like I said, you know, it's for fun. And I like this, <laughs> life deal, you know, so, that was fun. So uh, talk to us about your Instacart and Ubering and all that stuff. Tell us how that's going. Well, I just, I mean, most of that's pretty new to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just started uh, DoorDash probably DoorDash. maybe maybe a month ago, just doing okay. it a little bit, just playing with it and seeing how it would go if I needed to use it. I think and, Instacart's like really popping right now. Are you doing a lot of Instacart right now? Well, uh, yesterday was my first day doing that. So oh, okay. all, this is, all this is new and, you know, I like yeah. watching uh, other YouTubers who do Instacart yeah, and DoorDash too. and Resale and just all types of stuff, you know. So I'm going to give it a try tomorrow. You know, now it's just a different time doing that too, you know, going yeah, out yeah. public. And, that, that's great. Uh, uh, you, trying new things is always a good thing. Yeah. And what kind of factory did you used to work in? I, I used to just work at a, we made like windows and doors. It was, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. It was from five in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon, noon, so early morning. So I don't miss mm. the early mornings. I don't miss right. four morning <laughs> that, that awesome. where do you live matt i live in north carolina north oh, carolina okay, okay. yeah yeah you tell by the accent yep 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, in my head, I'm like going the South, whatever, yeah. you know, but yeah. that could be. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the, the place I worked, everybody was good. It was just, you know, it wasn't for me. I didn't want to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't work in a factory. Yeah. Nine to five. I want to. Well, you know. Brian and I love working with the kids and I'm in mm -hmm. year 13 of teaching and Brian, you're what? 18 or something. 17. Mm -hmm. You're at least four ahead of me, I think you said. Yeah, 18, no, 18, I think. And yeah, so wow. it's like, you know, I did promotions before. I worked for my dad as a six-year temporary mm -hmm. job because I could keep working there, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but now I'm just tired of, like, doing, at times, Brian and I think feel like it's kind of like a factory. We do the same lessons, more or less, year after year. You do it six times a day. It's just like. I'm he and I are both too nice. So for me, at least I get run over by 12 year olds at times, you know, because I just can't be strict because my goal is to make them smile and feel cared about. But I'm like, how many more years can I keep doing that? And Brian, and I could be lifers. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's I like, gonna, well, well, so let me just piggyback on that. <clears throat> so I was going to be a lifer. I mean, it's yeah, not bad. And I, I figured I would just retire, pension, you know, yeah, 10 more years comfortable but never really fulfilled big dreams um just try to help out kids which is all all that's good but man i just stumbled upon reselling and i would if i could go back honestly i wouldn't even i wouldn't even get the college degree and i love my college degree and i think it's been beneficial mm -hmm. but the, the debt from that um i would just go straight into reselling and do will tell them where i'd be right now because there's something about retail reselling being an entrepreneur, being your own boss, trying new things, figuring out new things. And I know Clay, jo we joke around a lot that man, here, here's your newest, latest model. And I'm always <laughs> bouncing these ideas off of him because like every single one I try works yeah, work. to degree. And it, I don't know, man, there's just, there's just something about going out, finding these treasures at a really good price. And I know you've seen this, I've seen your videos, you, you know what I'm talking about, finding these, these treasures and then being able to turn around and sell them for a nice profit and to do that over again and learn. And I'm, I'm a research nerd. I love researching items. So, and I, I preach that all the time, you know, research new niches, learn about new things. I know you sell a lot of shoes. Shoes is my bread and butter. Um, yeah. and, and I would spend 15, 20 minutes a day looking at eBay solds, filtering, pre-owned $35 or more until I knew what shoes to look for where I didn't have to research everything at the store. And then once I got that down, I'd move on to something else, maybe men's pants or suits or electronics or watches. And so like it, it enables me to get that research in and there's, there's no top end like Clay and I, like our grand vision is kind of like to have a setup like um, Craigslist Hunter has where you've got the storefront up front you've got the big warehouse where you're shipping, shipping out, but you're buying, Customers can come in, you can buy, you can sell, you just have that whole setup, man. So I, I, I wish I'd have found reselling a lot, a lot sooner, to be honest. Yeah. And I only know it because of him. <laughs> hmm. But, but I was ready to get out like last Christmas break or like not this school year, you know, like in whatever, eight, 17, eight or 18, 19, I was out of town on this, a little road trip with my cousin. And I told her about this idea that I still have for a business. Um, and I, she looked at me cause she does well, she does pharmaceutical sales, right? You know, successful, but she's, she teaches yoga at the times. And a few oh, years right. ago, she tried yeah. to used to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I yeah. It used to be a Dallas Cowboys oh, cheerleader man. 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Here, here. So Matt, it's that deal. To sound like a dumb boy, when I go places with my cousin, I figure some guys look at me like going, hey, look at that just average looking <laughs> dude with that hot girl. So like, it looks like I'm doing really good. Mm. In reality, it's just my cousin who's like my sister and best friend. But um, she she tried to do yoga like a few years ago, but this lady screwed her and all the other teachers she folded up shop, didn't pay him. So she went back to business, but she's kind of over it, you know? And so when I told her this idea, she looked at me and she's like, we should do that. So then I was like, Oh my God, let's, let's do this thing. And then she got an idea from someone she works with. It's like, okay. And then I started talking to Brian more. We don't see each other every day. Now we maybe purposely will. And we text all the time, but I used to just see him what maybe every 
once a month because his room is upstairs, different hallway. Yeah, if you're not in the same department or the same team. Then yeah, you don't see, you know, uh, see him. But we started seeing each other more. And I told him these ideas and he started talking about this. And so then my cousin was like, why don't we try that? And so that's why before you got on, maybe you were watching some. She's given me all these things to sell, you know, because she makes a little money, but it, she just knows it helps me. But I think eventually, and I keep telling her, my dream is, yeah, the warehouse stuff, you know, something with Brian, but it also is like helping her have a yoga place, you know, or it's like a studio, yoga studio in the front for her and other trainers that we know that can rent out during the day. You have a little storefront and a warehouse. Oh, hey, just brainstorming, right? If she gets that going, then then you need to resell wholesale yoga pants. Right. <laughs> on your lemon. Um, that, there well, you go. I... I kind of, well, I've thought I'm going to do the, uh, I don't want to say that name of that website where you get jewelry and stuff, but I'm going to buy the yoga pants because she knows what to buy. And then my running coach, we've talked about this when he was up here staying with me for the Dallas Marathon. He is an ambassador for Lululemon down in the Woodlands or uh, Matt, that's Houston basically. And so he gets like a discount and I was trying to figure out before he came up like looking at what jackets, it's only men's clothes, but he can get like a big percentage off, especially if it's a sale. So I was like, huh, you know, even if I just hadn't made a small percent, it's brand new Lulu with tags. So I need to start doing research on that, you know, and, you know, it'll help him make some money because I don't think there's a limit on how much he can buy. Wow. Yeah, I know. Right. So there you go. Yeah. So I'm only in this because, you know, I gotten the idea of okay, I'm done with teaching, and then and then Brian talking this up, you know, and now I'm meeting Scott and other people, I'm like, oh yeah, this is fun, you know, and not just YouTube, but this this makes the reselling more fun. Yeah. yeah. No, what, about, what about you, Matt? Like, um, what, what are your favorite items? What do you look for? How do you source? Kind of look for the reselling game. Uh, I tried a little bit of it. I try, you know, doing retail arbitrage. I just something about that don't feel right for me when I do it. I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. I like, it. you know, I know people make a ton of money doing it. You know, going to Walmart or Marshalls or Ross. Or I, I don't know anybody that does that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we I, go. I, right. I, it's not like I was sneaking around in there, you know, trying to scan stuff i just i like used stuff really i mean i don't mind about picking up something new if it's in a thrift store but i just like goodwill salvation armies yard mm -hmm. sale just you know yeah. one-off stuff mm -hmm. you know, a little perfect. harder to list but i just you know like treasure, like you said you know you never know what you can find you may go in there and find nothing you may go in there for 30 minutes and have a carload of stuff on the way home you know mm -hmm. So which, so when you go to a thrift store, like you have certain sections you hit, certain items. Yeah, I'm like, you, I hit, I hit the shoe section first. Yeah. If I find a bunch of shoes, I'll just, I walk out. You know, That's it. I love the yeah. shoes. <laughs> but yes, shoe section. You know. Do you have the bins over there? I've never been to the bins. Actually, I think it'd be awesome. You know, it looks yeah, like a lot of. Never been dumpster diving either, so you should do that too. <laughs> I, 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 never, I didn't know people did that. But. Yeah, I told Kevin to do it, and he did it, and then uh, yeah, he did it live. Oh, it Kathy was fun. To do it and, yeah. and she yeah, she did. It. Yeah, dumpster diving so much fun. Yeah, it looks like fun. Yeah. Yeah, the you have a bin near you, Matt. A lot. Do you have a Benz, uh, the Goodwill Outlet? Uh, yeah, I think there's one probably 30 minutes from where I live. Not you bad. Gotta, you got to go. Um, Clay can tell you, like, we've been several times together. Like, it's mm -hmm. by the pound. Like, for us, it's $1.49 a pound. So, like, shoes are averaging probably, you know, buck fifty to three fifty per shoe, depending on the weight. And I found Tory Burch in there. I found Timberland, Alan Edmond. Uh, I, I sold a pair of bed stew that I got um from there for over a hundred bucks and they cost me like three dollars wow. and we just like if i'm by myself i take a car it's a little harder by yourself but you can still do it and then when mm -hmm. i go we just all right we'll, we'll split it up at the end and he'll start on one end of the they're in these bins these blue bins 
and there's rows of them. And the one in, uh, near us in Fort Worth, there's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 rows of just hard goods. And that's where the shoes are mixed in. They don't do the shoes separately there like I, I've heard some places do. And so that's we're just looking for shoes that look decent because they're so good. And we just pull them in our cart. And we make rounds and we meet up. And then we just we sort the pairs together. We look for damage, get rid of the bad ones. And we left there almost every time with 15 pairs each. Oh, if wow. we're, if we're, and this is only like in two hours. And some people will just sit up there all day. Like if we ever spent a whole day there, we'd probably leave with 50 plus pair of shoes. Yeah. And like 15 shoes, maybe it'll run you 40 bucks at checkout. Oh, yeah, I feel like that's what I've, I've given you. Yeah, like. Brian will pay, and I just yeah, yeah. Pay. One pair will pay for your whole cost. One one decent flip. Oh yeah, that so, sounds crazy. Yeah, it does. You got to check it out. Of course, there's a lot of clothes. If you're into clothes, I, I don't do as much of the clothes, but you know, there's a lot yeah, of clothes. I used to buy a lot of clothes, and uh, you know, it's just not a lot of profit there for the work you put in. And there's some clothes, you know, I mean, they'll make good money, and I, I still buy clothes. Every once in a while, I just try to yeah. not buy a lot. I'm trying to get rid of everything I got. Yeah, some people do good with clothing. Some mm -hmm. some people don't. I'm not one of them. Yeah, I think with clothes, if you're going to do clothes, that you've got to do a volume game. You got to buy a lot of clothes because the sell through rate's slow, um, and just have so much inventory where your sell through because you're going to make money on them. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I sell some clothes. Like we we also do some storage units. And you're gonna find clothes and storage units, and you know, and like like one was loaded with Nike and Adidas, and they were selling twenty to thirty five bucks a pop, and you know they weren't selling real fast, but when you when you come into two or three hundred pieces of clothing like that, I mean it, you're kind of set up. But I prefer not to do the clothes. Yeah, yeah there's one Nike Adidas full zip no hood mock neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> fifty cents storage unit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, that I've seen some of Brian's uh, storage unit sales, some of the Nikes he's found and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. never good unit like that's not your typical, and not like I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert. I've only done three of them. Um, another one I'm looking to buy, but I do know the three I've done. They've all made either good money to great money. So that is another avenue, and there's, there's a lot of YouTube channels. Lock, um, Crocker's Lockers was on here last Thursday. They do a uh, the auction power. What the hell's? Um, yeah, Wade's Venture actually took his course, oh, paid yeah. for his course, and learned a lot. So they're they're you know storage units, and this is what we were talking about last night on lock on Crocker's Lockers, and even even the auction power. This is a dilemma. You're going to get more stuff, so you win a unit, right? Part of it's going to be trash. Part of it's going to be good stuff. Part of it you donate. It's not worth your time. But it's like, what do you do? Like these items that are worth 10 to 20 bucks, make a lot of clothing that you know you can sell that on Poshmark on eBay. And you, and you have so much. And like what Clay and I did, we divvied it up and we listed it. But it took it took about a month to list all that clothing because, you know, we were still we we're still teaching full time. So, you know, working around our schedule and it made good money. But I'm thinking, man, you know, I would rather be going and buying more units and looking for cash and electronics and either having somebody list it for me or maybe wholesaling that. that we, we're talking about that. And I haven't seen her today. I haven't seen Nikki tonight. I messaged her. Yeah. She said after she ate. Yeah. So it's like, and, and even they struggle with that. Like, like the auction power, he typically, he cherry picks what he sells on eBay. And he takes a lot of it to um, um, flea markets. And he has his daughters sell, right? Don't they work the booth? Yeah, and, and sell it real cheap there just to unload it. So but I, that's what I was telling last night. If you can train one or two people, you know, like here, you probably pay them 10 to 15 bucks an hour. If they could lift six items an hour, and if those items sold for 15 bucks, eventually that's 150 bucks they're bringing in per hour. Even if you paid them 15 bucks an hour, that's still net 135. You just have to be able to find, you know, a person or two that you can trust um, to 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 scale that up. And you know, I, I've I've messed around with that a little bit. Like my son will do some listing for me. Like 
before this pandemic hit, like I was hitting, I was bringing in 50 plus pair of shoes a week and he was just listing them away. I, and I was paying him like 13 bucks an hour and he was listing the shoes. You know, shoes are pretty easy to list. He got, he knows how to look them up and, and do the sold, the sold based on comps. Um, and so it was a win for him. You know, he was getting some cash and my plan was to ramp up those shoes and then this hit and <laughs> shoe sales, by the way, have, have really slowed down. How, how have your sales done, Mike, uh, Matt? So uh, when, it, when it first happened, it seemed like they were really good for the first couple of weeks. And the last couple of days, it's almost, for me, it's almost stopped. It seems like, which is weird, strange. I don't, I don't know what happened. Just yesterday and today seems like it's just really slow. Yeah, I try not to think about it. I just, you know, because it's always been like that. You know, you know, some some weeks really good, some days not many sales, some days everything's selling like crazy, and you know, yeah, uh, we were talking I, about that. Uh, First went full time, you know, I was stressing every day. Why, you know, why, why is something not selling? Why is it not selling? I need to change the prices. Yeah. And then after a while, you say, just, just leave it alone. It'll, it'll sell. Just get your mind off of it and do what you uh, know you need to do to uh, right. get more inventory or live. And, you know, when you least expect it, things will start selling. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We were talking about that at the beginning of the show. Like, yeah. Um, for me, e my eBay sales, sales are about 50% of what they were before this hit. Like it's about a 50% drop, but there are spikes like last weekend, last Sunday, I had a great day and, but some days it's nothing. Then I'll string it together a few days of nothing. Um, so it's hit or miss. And I think clay clays are doing okay. And yeah, three or four things a week, which is normal for me. So, yeah. mm -hmm. And then Scott, Scott does a lot of Amazon, so his is a little different business model than most of, most of us. And Amazon's on fire right now, so yeah, that's that's a that, good that's one platform. Uh, I definitely need to learn more about. You know, I I do sell a little bit on there every now, every every once in a while, but that's definitely a, a good platform to learn. It's it's yeah. uh, future reselling, you know. Which How's eBay? A, a creating a, what a course or something to get a hundred people going on Amazon. Yeah. My YouTube channel. So now that I'm monetized, I could go and do that. <laughs> now, uh, okay. I'll, I'll start a whole new channel on, on the, on the Amazon. Uh, yeah. I want to teach a hundred people how to sell on Amazon. So let's go. That's super that, 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 uh, that, that should be coming out now that I got more time. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to restart That's that cool, back right? up. Uh, but yeah, my, my focus right now is just in everything into Amazon shipping. Uh, merchant fulfilled right now. So I'm selling like 40, 50 units a day. Wow. So 40 right now. But, you know, the day's not over. So I'll probably end up about 50 by the end of the day. And <laughs> that's that, that takes about an hour to two hours shipping 50 units. So it's it's nice that they all fit in one box, though. So That, yeah. That, nice, that is ship 20 idea. items in the same box. So it goes pretty quick. So, is that pretty, is that pretty complicated to do uh, FBA? Uh, FBA is a little bit more uh, because uh, you got to you got to create a shipping plan and send it in and make sure it weighs the way it is and and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more complicated. But once you do it a couple times, it's just you just know how to do it. You just like clockwork. You just go through the motion and uh, fill it in. So, but merchant fulfills more like Amazon, more like eBay, but with new stuff, so, uh, and that's what everybody's doing right now is Merchant Fulfilled, so, like Kelly's saying, uh, Merchant Fulfilled is on Amazon, it's just, everybody, Nate is killing it, I'm killing it, you know, everybody, everybody's killing it right now on Amazon, uh, Bearded Picker, he's, he's killing it, you know, all the, all those guys are killing it right now, sending 50, uh, Merchant Fulfilled, 50, 60 items a day, so. Wow. Are you selling eBay too? A little bit, yeah. I like video games, and uh, I, I go to garage sales and great estate sales, so I sell that stuff. Vintage electronics, uh, vintage video games, um, stuff like that. So not too much clothes anymore. I did a lot of polos and stuff when I was sourcing from the bins and stuff like that. But and t-shirts and sports, you know, sports t-shirts. 
because uh, there's a ton of, ton of uh, at the Benz. They just like San Francisco Giants. They're they're throwing that stuff away. 49ers, They were throwing all that stuff away. It was always in in the Benz, so you can pick it up cheap and somebody around the country had won it. So, but yeah, it's uh, Amazon is is just on fire right now because everybody's home. They're shopping. They need stuff delivered to them at their house. And then when you look on on uh, on uh, Amazon and you want FBA, that it says it won't be delivered till the end of April. Stuff like that. So, yeah, where Merchant Fulfilled could get to you within a week. Man, Kelly's selling on eBay, Amazon, right? Fox Etsy. I have all of those except for Etsy. Yeah, Etsy's an interesting game. I never really got into that, but it'd be interesting to see. What, what, Kelly, what are you selling on Etsy? If you don't mind me asking, is it, uh, is it that's more uh, artsy stuff, right? Art, artsy stuff, yeah. yeah. And I've heard the margins are good from what I've heard. <clears throat> yeah. In grill, it's like. Do you know, like vintage clothing, handmade stuff, stuff like that? Yep. Yeah, vintage. vintage items. Yep. Nice. I'll stop but uh, with, with 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 Amazon, I th I think everybody should be on Amazon. Just it might it may not be your cup of tea. Like Brian, it's probably it's not his cup of tea, but uh, it's just another tool in your arsenal that you can use. Like at a time like this, you know, you could be sending in, you know, these or. <laughs> Or these, or coffee, or whatever you know, you could be picking up uh, that at the store and just selling it. And, uh, and yeah, if I find stuff that's uh, new, you know, I, I list it on Amazon too. Yep. If if I'm not gated, then you know. Yeah, that, that that's the problem too. When you're first starting out, every, everything's gated. But now that I've been doing a year and a half, uh, a lot of stuff is on gated. Like I got on gated in Kirkland, which is Costco brand. And uh, a lot of that stuff sells pretty good too. So, and then I could get on Gate and Legos and and Marvel if I wanted to. I know I know the steps to do that. I know the suppliers to go to to do that and stuff like that. I just haven't done it yet. So, so yeah, I think I'll do that this coming with some of my stimulus package money. I think I'll want to get on Gate and Lego, so I'll get the receipts for that and oh, start Legos, selling some yeah. Legos. Uh, some of those vintage Legos are pretty crazy. I see those sometimes sealed new at uh, Goodwill or garage sales or whatever. Too, so. Or even like whoever I was watching the other day, just like, or maybe it was in one of them Facebook groups, just like, I'm going to start buying if they're cheap and then like, you know, sort them out color yeah. or by wheels or, you know, by the park or something. Oh, and that's awesome. Sell them that way. It seems like, you know, if you can get them. A boatload cheap, yep. You know, and then just sort them out. Uh, you know, like while you're watching TV, just whatever, and do it by color or whatever. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Brian. I, I while <laughs> while we were talking, I looked on another tab. Uh, you, you sure you don't want to buy that four hundred eighty dollar unit at that at that place? Uh, what remind, what remind it, me about? It was. It's at that same same place oh, in Little I'm, Elm. I'm, I'm looking at. It's hard to tell what's in this other unit because I found the one you were talking about. Yeah, but there's one that's 460, and it's hard to tell what's even in it. Like there's a bike, and I don't know what it is. is. I think that's a volume unit, right? Like maybe a 10 by 20 that's filled up. Some some people. It's uh, 10 by 20. Yeah, so it's a big one. Yeah, it's big, and maybe there's car parts or something. I can't really tell what that. Yeah, you know. car parts. Are Probably is. You it must it. be car parts. I can't really tell. A lawnmower. Um, <laughs> and maybe car that's like a frame for like put a window in or something. I don't know. But yeah, uh -huh. I was just curious. So I was like, I found the one. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll, we'll stream it. Yeah, I found the one you're looking at, you know. And yeah, that was pretty easy looking, right? Oh, yeah. Yours? Yeah. Like, I'm here. I click back. Yeah. Yeah. Just zooming in. I'm like, old paint can a box of who knows could just be paper and then one two three four five six, see, eight, do you see any clues i mean i, mean, I don't the, know the keyboard like you said the crush boxes um 
They took the time to get Home Depot boxes, at least, and nicer. Let's see what else. Uh, it's got there's Nordstrom. A is that a Nordstrom bag? What what time does the auction end tomorrow? What what time time do the auctions usually end? It says uh, night. Very man. thirteen long, hours from now, almost fourteen hours. Oh, okay. About four o'clock our hour time. Yeah, a lot of them will yeah. end. There aren't as many right now. I guess a lot a lot of these companies are maybe giving people more time with everything going on. You know, I yeah, because because happened uh, uh, Crocker on last week getting, getting everything in their car. I'm like, I could probably get some stuff in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe just for the heck of it and i think it was, yeah. you see the storage unit youtube channels they yep. have big subscribers and that's what wade was telling me he's like man it goes hand in hand with youtube mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. people love unpack what, what's in the box right well what's right. the storage unit yeah and it's kind of natural um so yeah like on that unit clay just the the, the boxes aren't cheap you see nema yeah. is you see Barbie. Uh, yeah, that Barbie box. Yeah. Keyboard unit. The keyboard unit. The keyboard and the the city it's in is a very affluent. Summer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little. Yeah. So you put all those together, and you're like, this is probably for eighty dollars. Yeah. You don't I mean, know they're in those boxes, but man, like I, I'm I'm gonna try to get it. I hope I can get it. Like I've got eighty on it right now, and I hope it doesn't go up much higher. But I <laughs> I, I need some inventory, so I might go a little bit. A little I can, but I'll bid him up, Scott. Man. There you go. There, let I'll me know. I'll bid him account. up and we go from there. <laughs> just like, what? You didn't get it? Oops. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> just lost it. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, guys. Oh, look at go. the power going to All the right, power of StreamYard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got a crying baby. Well, you, thank you. Yep, I got a crying baby. baby cry, so Brian. But, uh, <laughs> Thanks for having me on, guys, again. I, I love coming on Thursday nights and hanging out with you guys. So Yeah, by the way, if y'all haven't subscribed, I, I, most people probably have. Uh, yeah. uh, Dumpster Davy Dad's the channel. Y'all subscribe. That's good yeah. content. And, uh, and, and and watch my commercials now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm streaming you in the background, but I'll have to find one. Yeah. yeah, I just put them on. So like I said, I just got the message. I just tried to put them on. I don't know if it worked, but uh, we'll okay, see. Okay, I'll check later. But uh, yeah, and, and I'll, I'll subscribe to eBay, uh, Poshman Matt. Thank you, man. If you, have any, if you have any Amazon questions, let me know. You DM me too. And if you want to start it or whatever, I'll help you out. So appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, Matt, See you guys. Uh, See you. Uh, yeah, Matt, I'm streaming yours on another tab too. Help everybody get watch hours. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'm trying to get better at that. Like, People that I actually am, you know, besides like Brian getting to know, be like going, sure, I'll, I'll put them on, you know, and just, you know, and watch some. But if not, at least like this while we're on, however many videos I started I it when you came on. You know, I, I think you just, I appreciate you just streams up, but, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm doing my own too. So dragging yeah, some of my watch times up a little. Yeah, that's what I do when I'm listening. I'll just play somebody's videos and just let them run, you know. Yeah. Well, there, there's nuggets in these videos, right? Oh, like, yeah. I mean, you can watch, you, you can find one nugget that can, you know, help help you make money uh, ongoing. Well, like I comment on his Jerry Garcia ties, totally had forgotten. You know, I don't really look at ties, but I'm like, oh yeah, Jerry Garcia, like anything dead related, you know, probably, but original, especially if it's like old school dead, you know, whatever. But um yeah, I think yeah. Kevin, I think Kevin sells some ties for good money. Oh yeah, yeah. What's that brand? Brioni. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah. selling some Brioni. Yeah. Francie sold a brick head Lego set new yesterday. How much you give for it, Francie? Brick head. Is that like a giant thing or something? Maybe. I like that brick head. I don't know what that means exactly. We're getting a tour of Matt's place here. I'm uh, moving around, trying to get some better light. Oh, there you go. You have kids, Matt? Yeah, I got two kids. One is 13 and 19. Oh, wow. I'm okay. To better... Thought I saw a picture on the wall. You have a couple of kids. Yeah, there. yeah. That's good. Who was live right now, Kelly? Um, I know Auction Pirate was live earlier. Yeah. Ooh. 
comes on. I know we're low on the totem pole, and we're, you know, we're okay with that. We we got our yeah. Small, small Sorry, so much. No, on man, and uh, we're we're small potatoes, but it's okay yeah. with that. We enjoy the conversation, and man, Scott, Kevin, people like Mike, Francie, like we were saying earlier, man, they just even a small a small channel like this you can get some good info yeah yeah rockstar flipper is live oh uh, well no wonder but yeah at least in my subscriptions here what red dot i think right means like, yeah let's see They're if wild. anyone else well be funny if I, you still, I mean and we have a decent number watching so thank you for those watching but it's i do think it's thrown off like everyone being at home like because everyone can watch youtube all all the time even if you're working from home your boss isn't there so you know this is a good thing this is a good thing right yeah you think, well, there's a, lot some options, you think some... a lot of people are watching the news and everything going on stuff too yeah no, yeah there's okay. a, lot, a lot of people you know, binge watching Netflix and yeah, right. TV. Even me, I like to read. I, I finished uh, King and King Sleeping Beauties last night. I'm gonna gonna start a new book tomorrow. And then all those things, all those things are selling right now. Books, games, um, electronic, anything to do at at the house, right? Yeah, type of entertainment, and that's kind of. Probably like Matt. Probably you're probably like me. I focus a lot on shoes, and shoes aren't selling very well right now. They were like on my what sold video right before this hit. I had 28 what sold sold that week, and then the next ever since then, it's been like eight, ten, thirteen a week. So it, over half cut, and you know it's. I think long term shoes are still a good way to go. People are always going to wear shoes, but just like right now, we're in you know we're in different times. But I, I, the shoe market will bounce back. But it does make me realize that maybe I need to diversify a little bit more. You know, have a couple different niches. I always messed around with electronics and Americana, um, and I, I think I need to to sell some more of that stuff to balance it out. Yeah, do you have other niches, Matt, besides like you're good at uh, shoes or you just whatever? Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, game for, for anything I can find in there that I think I can make some money with, you know, yeah. electronics, toys, uh, ink. Yeah. Any Anything. I'm looking everywhere, you know, puzzles. Yeah, you just sit there and look it up like we do, <laughs> look at the solds and all that and. Yeah, and the, and the more you, you know, the more you thrift, you know, the more you quicker at it. And there's something yeah. you, you walk by and you go back and check it and you, you didn't realize it had some value to it. And, yeah. You know, you're constantly learning and, and growing. Yeah. Brian says just. Oh, God. When I first started going with Brian, <laughs> for whatever reason, I thought like now you're like going, okay, <clears throat> so whoop, eBay and then you search and you're yeah. like trains boom and then sort you know whatever or filter you know and you're like solds condition used sort highest boom that's like but literally just learning that process yeah yep. seemed intimidating and whatever and and that used to be this and now like before you came on now i'll tell people because i'm gonna look on my phone and now that i went from like a smaller phone to like a bigger one i'm like I'm just gonna be like, oh, do you sometimes like do you mind if I I'm gonna look stuff up? No one ever cares. And if they did you ask them, you ask them that? I have a couple times, yeah. When they looked at me, but you know, like, no. Because what it. are they gonna say? No, I'll just I don't be ask like, them. okay, yeah. see you then. Free country clay, don't ask them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know me. You know, you're, is you're not you're not you're not intimidated. And I think I, I used to feel that way too, so I, I know what you're talking about. But Kind of like what you were saying, Matt, the more you do it and the more you spend, and I will keep preaching this, researching souls, researching therapy in your downtime, you know, an hour a day learning different niches, then that's up here. So you're out there like, I remember when I first took clay and like I, I'm hit because there's so many garage sales in our area, in the Dallas area, that you want to be in quick and moving. 
And Clay was looking up everything. On, and I understood because he was just learning how to do it. But I'm like, man, well, we got to go, Clay. We got to go. We got to go. There's nothing here. And hit as many as you can, as quick as you can, and rely on this. And then, yeah, when you need to, pull out your phone yeah. and research. But the more you know, the less – you know, the less you have to do that researching or um, at least you know what things to, to bother with the research and which you, you don't. Want to with. But man, Clay's found some things. We've been at places and he's found things I've missed. I've been behind other resellers, found things they've missed. Um, I, I don't think any one person can, can it be. Oh, our host froze. <laughs> We'll have to kick him out of his own show. There One is. time there when I was normally I'm at his house. There he and, is. Yeah, there he is. And one time his internet at home was so bad that we had to leave the show, our show. He had to restart his whole internet. And Scott and Kevin were hosting for about 10 minutes or something, you know, while <laughs> we had to reset the router and everything. Yeah. 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 That's, that's bad. Bad. My Wi-Fi has been bad lately. Seems like. Where are you? Are you near Charlotte or where are you? Yeah, yeah. About an hour from Charlotte. Okay. Hour from Charlotte. Okay. I've only been to Charlotte last year or December of 18. Um, this, I, I, I haven't run a marathon in like a year and a half, but there's this charity group, a girl in my running group here um, told me about where they connect you with kids who have some sort of medical or some sort of condition going on and it's called I run for. And so the idea is that you will send some of your medals or the shirts they give you or whatever, you know, swag to the kid. And so I got hooked up like four or five years ago, this cute little girl who's like eight now, her name's Ashlyn and they live down near um, uh, like, Oh God, what is it in South Carolina? Um, let's see. I flew into Charlotte, but then I drove down to wherever they are, like an hour south, you know, and got to meet her. Like I worked it with her mom to surprise Ashlyn. Like she had no clue um, and spent a few hours. And she showed me like the 20 medals that I'd sent her, you know, because now it's like, I, I, I mean, I like running, but I run the races to like, to, you know, I like running. I haven't done it in a year and a half or hardly run now, but like, you know, it's like running a sending a medal to this cute little girl who at the time literally couldn't run. It was developmentally delay, delayed and all that. But I need to get back up there after this is all yeah. clear because she'll message me and be like, I love you. I miss you. When are you coming back? And so, like, I didn't really do anything in Charlotte. I was going to go see all the sites and in the greater area. Then I'm like going, well, if I try to go see her every couple of years, I don't need to cram it in, you know, or whatever. But I want to go back at Christmas when they do all the lights at the racetrack and then there's some little suburb of Charlotte where it's like some little town and they just like the whole neighborhood is like this little town's taking over the Christmas lights, you know, but I thought that whole area was so pretty, all the trees and the hills just so different than here. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a great cause. Great thing you did. Yeah. yeah it's fun. But y'all's area is so different. Like oh, yeah, it's, it's what I pictured, but it's, it's weird to be in a big city going up and, hills and these giant trees because in dallas just boring. This boring concrete that gray that's the color we got yeah boring yeah <laughs> what yeah, what, it is. what's your uh, favorite like reseller video to watch like for me mm -hmm. i love to watch what solds i mean mm. like like ryan said you can just pick up one brand or one item to look for, you know, I've always liked watching what solds. Yeah. For me, um, I, I think what solds are, are, are still some of my favorites. Um, I think it's a combination of the type of videos and, 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 and who do you enjoy? Like when I, and maybe we could talk about that. Like who are some of your favorite channels? When I first started like bonafide hustler, he, he's in Austin. Um, I learned a lot from him. I actually got some of his guys, like the, the, the buck shoot, what's it called? Shoes to bucks. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. That helped me learn shoes. He's got bikes to bucks, bags to bucks. And he's kind of quirky. He, he's got a quirky show with his, his brother, and they do a lot of garage sales and thrift stores. 
And he was really the first big one that I watched. Um, and he'll kind of show you what sells. He, he does a lot of the garage sale videos. I like those too, even though now I think I prefer the what sells, but looking for those nuggets. And then Daily Refinement, um, yeah. he's really good. He, he's all about process, goals, getting your processes down, uh, uh, accountability. He, he's really sharp. Like he'll show you how to scale your business up. Um, of course, uh, watch a little rock star flipper. We were talking about rally roots. Um, they're good. They got a lot of good information on there. Um, then I got into the storage unit. So what the hell's the auction pirate? Um, who else? Oh, oh Wade's Wade. venture. So it kind of depends on like what you what you're looking for. And then there's a lot of channels that I'll I'll, I'll watch also, but those are like some of the bigger ones. Um, so between the what what sold videos and either the thrifting or the garage sale videos, because those are all about what items. So when I first started, it was like, what what do I need to find? What makes me money? So when you see these people, either what they sold on the back end, which is the best, or even on the front end, when someone's knowledgeable and they're they're telling you, hey, this type of this Ariat boot, if you find it, you know, these will go for about 50, 60 bucks. If you can get it for 10 or less, that's a good flip. So that type of knowledge, you know, I feasted on that for hours a day, probably my first six months. And as you yeah, get yeah. better at it and start to learn to do your own research on eBay, at least for me, I watch less of that now. I still watch some, but not as much as I used to, because now I, I not saying I know everything, but I've learned a good amount and I can research it on my own. But I still, you know, I'll still watch them, but not as much as I used to. Who are your favorite channels, Clay? And, and what? So uh, when I started watching Brian, I watched what a lot of what Brian suggested because I was like, "Who should I watch?" And like, sometimes I go kind of like, "Yeah, what's sold?" But it could be just like, "Who do I like?" Also, because I know I can like uh, learn something. So it's at first it was Rally Roots because I just they just seem so nice and they have good knowledge, you know, and. Um, I don't know. I just drawn to their personalities or whatever. And then it was like, I've watched some ways. I like what the hails, you know, it's like, I've now subscribed to like hundred something. So while we're now at home, I'm trying to go through. So when you comment on my video, I was like, Oh, well, I'm going to watch him today while I was building this giant storage wall, like, you know, and go through. So it's more for me kind of like, do I just like their personality? Cause I figure I'll learn something. You know, like Harry Humstone, all this good old school collectible stuff or whatever, or Scott, you know, or whatever. Like, huh? Is that what he does? Harry? Oh, professor, too. Yeah, he also. Oh, I need to add. Yeah. But then, Harry like, Hart. even you, you reminded me, like I said, on certain running shoes. And mm -hmm. so it's like, I'll watch more of you now. Or today, Tesla Picker. <laughs> yeah. I just liked his show. You know, I watched his whole deal. Like, because when I do watch, Brian taught me about the analytics. So if I'm going to watch a video, I'm going to at least 60 to 70% of it to help the people's numbers. You know, so if I start, I might at a certain point be like, I'm tired of that. I'm going to turn it down, but I'm going to let it go because I'm not going to hurt their numbers. You know, I'm always going to br bring you up or whatever, you know, or something to help out. But so it's kind of like some of the people we've had on because now I'm like, oh, I'm getting to know them. So I want to, Watch yeah. my friends because you're gonna know. So maybe the video is not as good. Who cares? As long as you tell me what sold or how you found it, or I liked. Yeah, Brian, his first video I watched today was him going to get. Wasn't it you getting espresso, Matt? Right? Yeah, was yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, he, you I, know. And in the I, title I, says this has nothing to do with reason. <laughs> and I just thought it was funny. He he's telling everybody, I'm making a trying to make a video here. <laughs> trying to make a video, you know, like I, it made me laugh. So I'm like, okay, I'm hooked. That's good. Yeah. You know, I, I definitely liked uh, Rally Roots. They probably wanted to help me want to go full time. Right. And, them. and uh, you know, all those you said, Bonafide, Chris, Daily Refinement, uh, Auction Professor, so many, so many, you know, Rockstar Flipper. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What about Raken Profit? Oh, yeah. I haven't watched Raken in the last couple of yeah, weeks. I haven't watched Raken in a little while either. And I like watching 
I like just searching and finding uh, you yeah. know, reseller channels that are smaller and, you know, just connecting with them. And, you know, I ended up one night when I left Brian's after our show, I put on like, just like search for live. And it was these coin collectors. So on the way home, it's like what, 40 minutes or something with no traffic to get from his house to my apartment. And so I just listened and I actually stopped on uh, the You're way right. home at a Walmart. I guess it was like on Thursday, March 12th, because I went into Walmart and I was going to buy like Clorox wipes and try to sell, not price yeah. gouge, but yeah. sell some. But I was so tired because it was like a few hour show. We had, um, no, it was a week before that or whatever. Yeah, because I didn't go down that. But I was just like, uh, and then I found out that they weren't letting you sell certain things or whatever. But um, so it's like I'm now following a couple of coin collectors. And I was like, going, oh, eventually, maybe once I get all caught up, go to the bank, like they said, and you get a couple of books. And they were nice people. And they're just sitting there like, and they have like super zoom or something on their webcam. And they would show you like the defects or whatever. And it was just interesting to be like, that's another possibility down the line to, you know, find a few coins in here to answer Francie. You asked about vitamins. Oh, let me turn the Jody taught me this. Turn the brightness down. Hey, Harry Humstone is love right now. He's on my okay. So yes, vitamins are selling. So yeah, I Jody, might even Jody, hey, let's do this. Like, yeah. hey, I want to do what we did last time. Um, watch Harry. We're gonna watch him. We'll do a little reaction video. So okay. Yeah, so Matt, we're gonna watch some part of Harry Humston and stream it on our channel. <laughs> hey, we're we're helping them out. I hope we don't lose right. Yeah, another one you mentioned, uh, Harry Tornado, part time picker. Yeah, the old raps on tapes. Wait, if I figure out how to get them on, you'll see. Yeah, I ain't even started yet. <laughs> it's a creepy doll, dude. Yeah, yeah. And we're in business, man. We are in business. Man, he was he was on our channel earlier tonight. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm Mike So this guy sells like oh look at that bowl. Yeah, he collectible vintage stuff. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, he knows the nurse flipper. Yeah, she's like Kevin uh bought, I think, like a die cast, you know, one of his NASCAR type. Beatles hitting America. Yeah, all these back here. She's like, 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 she's yeah, well, that's talking back yeah like all these people that, that, that kind of shows you the reflux of community like all these people are going on our show I'm way beyond, way beyond. yeah jennifer hey she's everywhere marie like yeah i see the same um yeah mike is over there watching is he <laughs> well all right so is it gonna give us some content or what's happening i know he's going through just going through all the comments. Oh, here's a comment. Someone talks about some like trains, police signals or train signals or something like that. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, a lot of collectibles, I feel like. So that would actually be a channel. Maybe not as much the live shows, but like um, some of his videos. Because as, as I'm trying to learn more about collectibles, like yeah. Dr. Lori, he's good for antiques. What movie? So is he is he like showing every single person's comment? It looks like, yeah, he's kind of, I'm trying to see where he is in the oh there he is. Yeah, I'm waiting till he gets down to <clears throat> yeah, I want to see what he says. <laughs> yeah, he realizes it. <laughs> We're streaming. You would think that. I mean, I would be happy if somebody three hours. He's getting close. He, he's, yeah. Harry and the Dumb. Yeah, that's, that's Harry like, and the Dumb. Yeah, that's, that's like stuff. You Harry know. and the Dummy. That's funny. <laughs> that Dummy is creepy, man. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of the name of like it's WC Fields. That was an old guy comedian long ago. Yeah. Yeah, there's Mike. Yeah, <laughs> Mike was like, I gotta go pack. You might be packing, but yeah, we get it. We get it. I know. I've done. I watch shows, and then you go to another show. I'm not mad at anybody. Now, right? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to y'all that stuck with our show, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting close. We're not going okay. to run our, our viewers out. Two more. Two. Glass uh, one more after the okay. I'm next. Next here. That's all right. Let's see what he says. Everybody be quiet for me. Antique booth on the indoor flea market. So you're you're fine. So you're you're fine. That, well, you're full time doing that. Oh, you got some echo. Yeah. Well, my I have here. I'll mute my mic for a minute. Right, Anthony. That's what I need to do. But I'm not oh. on any grass. On any grass. <laughs> I want to go full time, full jitter, and. Reseller. So we'll see how it goes. Clay, how you doing? Clay, I see you stop in. Is he processing that? Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. That's nice of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stop going in before, you, before the next one. I didn't know you, I, I knew I you were know, live. I, I, I knew you were live, but I didn't think you were going much longer, so that's why I popped in. Dory, which is a tent. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. It, I like how you said, is he processing that? Yep. He totally was. I'll, I'll leave him streaming on another tab, kind of what you do. Uh, let's see if I got any viewers left after that. Oh, we still got six. Um, oh, dang, Mike. Mike must have, you got multiple tabs open, Mike? Because we just saw oh, my mom. Oh, this is what my mom is asking. Oh, she said, "Does your team have T-shirts or something?" Uh, she because we're all wearing similar colored shirts. Our yeah. team. My yeah. mom is asking if we have like a team T-shirt. Team resellers. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So, uh, mom, I don't know if you're still right, watching, be, but she's texting me right now. I'm gonna be like Harry for a second. I'm gonna read each comment here. Um, I think I'm gonna take photos of GI Joe stuff and sell this. Hey, what what do you guys Joe stuff? Did did you show us that last week, Francie? Was you were talking about they were? Let me think. They were vintage GI Joes. I don't know if you saw. It. She got some like 1960s GI Joes. Oh, the old school for a couple bucks each, and they're worth they're worth really good money. Yeah, the big ones, I guess. Yeah, she uh, Francie likes part time picker PTP. Um. Mike's going to go pack, and he's also going to be on Harry's show. <laughs> um, helps so much, Brian. Brian has been so helpful because of him. I've met so many wonderful people. Oh, thank you, friends. You bring a lot of good a lot of good content. We're, yeah. we're glad that, that creepy you're... doll. Oh, no offense to you, Francie, but here, I'm going to sh show Matt that doll. Uh, what was it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'll show. I'll share my screen here. Hold on. All right, just tell me when you're ready. Yeah, Matt, look yeah, at this doll. She, Francie, tell us again how much you you bought it for. She sold it for like a hundred eighty. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Is it up? Coming on. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look at you. See this thing, Matt? Is that not two hundred and forty? Oh, wrong one. My bad. Am I show? Yeah. yeah, there. Okay. So, yeah, look at that doll. Like it just. Yeah. Two. Oh, and this one had the teardrop. Maybe that's why you sold for more than hers. And look. So here's my bad bridge. Please, sir, do you have a shilling? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Too bad. Sloth. I haven't seen sloth in a while. You'd, you'd appreciate it. Yeah, I I worry about Jay. Yeah, we have this buddy Jay flipping sloth. He has a good channel. He's British. And I commented on one of his videos a couple of weeks ago, and like I feel like he's alive, but yeah, he was worried about the corona because it was pretty close to his town over in England. I felt like a few weeks, like a month ago or something, he was getting nervous about it. So I don't know. I haven't seen it. He posted anything new. What's your best sell lately, Matt? Oh. Or unique? Something we to look out for? something different with besides like Brooks running shoes or, you know, 
Uh, I sold a pair of uh, a Merrill shoes on my car the other day. I think I paid five dollars for them. Sold them for forty-seven plus shipping. Lately, it's probably one of my best sales. And uh, that's a good, yeah. Uh, Mizuno. Yeah. About these uh, new, they were twenty-nine ninety-nine. Sold them for uh, ninety dollars with free shipping. So oh, okay, maybe, yeah, nice. I've thought about doing that on if I get up something that's really expensive maybe all right so we're gonna what the i guess what, what does buffalo pickers call it don't they have this segment um where they somebody i was watching that's a problem when you watch too many let me let me show you some of my better selves yeah buffalo yeah buffalo picker in glass city yeah i've seen him yeah I've they're always him. on in buffalo they go around and they do the yeah, the best sale besides just Bolo or Unique or something. Um, just trying to remember. Let me think how to. I'm going to look up Flipping Sloth, see if he posts any new videos lately. Let's see. No. A month ago. Huh. So I, I like this. When you go into someone's store, you know, go to sold, sort, highest to lowest. Yeah. And you kind of see their gems. Like I, last week I sold this. Uh, Matt, this margarita machine at a garage sale play and I both we went went to. You want to tell them the story? <laughs> it's a long story, but it was, man, it was a garage sale to die for. We both probably what made it what a thousand dollars on that garage sale play. Which one? The one oh, the oh, that's the one by school. Sorry, I thought that was the machine where I was hosed. on my father in law's account. Man, I had some great sales on that account. And yeah, here, that garage sale by school is great. Yeah, these beds too. These are the ones I was talking about, Matt. I picked these up at the bins. Um, put a little leather conditioner on them, and these sold for over a hundred. Wow. Like on, on the on the men's boots, they're one of my best sellers. And something to look for if y'all didn't know is like these harnesses, metal um, adornments are usually a good sign on, on men's boots. And Beds Two is a, a great brand. Yeah, I think I watched your video when you said you sold those. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the what's up. Yeah, you'll probably see these on the what's up. You see all these suits I've got for good money? I still have suits to list, which kind of makes me realize I need to. Uh... Oh, yeah. man. I'll just, let me talk about this. Clay, I, Clay, I, I messaged him when this happened. I picked these plates up at a thrift store for $2. Yeah, um, I like to do vintage collectibles, and these these are rare, man. I, and I have a subscription to Worth Point, where you can look look up stuff from years back that sold on eBay. So it's good for rare things. And I paid two dollars for these, and I had them in my inventory. I got these bins in my garage, and I sold them for like seventy dollars on eBay. Um, actually, this past weekend, Sunday, and I went to go to go get them ready to ship them Monday morning. And I guess I was handling the box, you know, the, box, the inventory box. I must have like chunked it around or something. And both plates were broken. I was wow. mad. I was heartbroken. But um, there's money in plates. That that guitar I sold um, this weekend. This puzzle I sold this weekend. The Norman Rockwall puzzle bat, mm -hmm. and lots of shoes. Just lots of shoes. Um, How much did it cost to ship out that uh, guitar? That guitar. All right, so I want to say it probably cost me thirteen, about thirteen bucks. But you see, I don't do calculated shipping. I do flat rate, and I, I guess I've been doing it long enough where I kind of know. And so I, I charge them twenty four ninety five. Now that's a little bit high to be honest, but there's a couple of factors, right? Number one, if you look up the sell through rates on Guitar Heroes right now. Um, if there's 500 available, the sell-through rate is like 1,500 have sold recently. So the sell-through rate on these are off the charts right now. This stuff, this literally sold within two hours. So knowing that, I went high. Like this was probably the highest sold top available. I went with that. And then I went higher on shipping to make sure I made a little money on shipping. Um, so being aware of your market and what's hot at that time. Also helps. Same thing on this puzzle. Like I picked this up at a thrift store for like three bucks and I've had it probably six months, but now people are buying puzzles. I think you were talking about that earlier, Matt. 
<clears throat> and this sold for fifty nine and change plus fourteen ninety five shipping. Um, so what you know what what's going on and being aware of the markets because the markets change. These LL Bean shoes, Matt. These came from the the Goodwill bins. <clears throat> they sold for I forget a little bit less than sixty two. These boots, I think they were, they might have been from the bins too. He, These were from a Nike unit. This was from a, a contact of Clay's. These new did he disappear? Ones. Is he still down there? I can't see him. Uh, um, I, with Francie's comment, I just can't see if he's still there. Uh, we can take it off. No, I think we lost him. He I might have, might have drove him out. Come um, back, Matt, if you want. Yeah, come back if you want, Matt. So Nintendo. Cole Hahn. And whoever else is out there. Yeah, there it is, Clay. There's that. Um, yeah, the bag. Yeah, from the first one. Yeah. It didn't sell for that much, but some antlers. I don't know. Antlers will sell. I don't know if a lot yeah, of I know. Sell. I've thought about, yeah. Antlers will sell. I got these at a garage sale for a couple bucks. How do you pack those? Uh, <laughs> they been in like a 12 by 12 by 12 box. They were smaller. Not yeah, they're not That's as That's the skull of a small animal. Yeah, so you'd go by the pounds, like two pounds. So they weren't that big. But you could just see shoes. And then do you, on your shipping, the more expensive the item is, you charge more for shipping because you can kind of get away with it? Well. That, on the flat rate that I've done that, like on some expensive pair of shoes, it was stepmoms, you know, like $130. I did like $18 shipping because I'm like, they ain't going to care. So what I do like on shoes is pretty standard. Um, it it, it kind of goes on the weight, the more the yeah. heavier something is. <clears throat> and then it kind of depends on the demand too, right? Like if it's something that's not in real high demand, then you probably don't want to go that high on the shipping. But if it's, yeah, that's why I'm sticking yeah. with the calculated for a lot of things. Yeah. But I like to make that money on shipping. So I, well, I know. Well, I mean, since I still do, at least two to ten dollars. I guess I could make more. That's why I'm trying to bump up a little. Yeah. Or in my listing, I'll, you know. Well, like I told you before, it, it, it's going to cover your returns and when there's yeah. <clears throat> like I did have a couple of returns this week, which and I don't even get mad on them. They're just they are what they are. Yeah. And here's my Poshmark going high to low. <clears throat> my best selling Poshmark these new KC Buffalo boots sold for one seventy five. Oh yeah. And you see all the jewelry. Those are those championship rings. Yeah. Fan editions. Look at so tons of those. Another pair of Luke Casey boots sold for 150. Uh Air Jordans. These, these were uh, retail arbitrage. Okay. Like, um oh, hold on. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? I was just seeing if he was in the down there. These Ariat boots were at a oh, his Wi-Fi Wi-Fi went out. Oh. Um, no worries. If you can cut, pop back, come back. If not, yeah, I'm only gonna watch. go to ten tonight. I took Claudia ten, so we we'll got about fifteen minutes. These yeah, area, fine. you can come on anytime too, Matt. Yeah, anytime. Next week. anytime. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Like we have certain people that are welcome any week. These area boots. Yeah. One thirty. Nice. Where do you get those? Eight dollars at the store that shall not be named. <laughs> uh, not new Nikes. These were all when I was flipping from the Nike outlet. Yeah, that all huge. These. Yeah, by the uh, Salvatore Ferragamo belt for one twenty. Okay. You remember nice. these the Corral boots? Yeah, one fifteen. Nice. This wholesale jewelry. I, a guy bought like I I made a bundle deal for him, and I sold him. I think he got like eight of these. So I. I, I did all eight for 110. So that was a nice volume. So shoes. And then you start to see more of my jewelry, right? Um, yeah. And my Valentine's um, Air Force Ones. But shoes, you can see shoes are my main thing. And on Poshmark, it's shoes and jewelry. There's those Tory Birch. Those were from the outlet. They sold for 80. Oh yeah. Um, lots of shoes. <laughs> hey, that's good. Yeah, right now I get why people are like they're not going out and needing shoes. 
if you're working from home like today i the only time i put on shoes or sandals i went to the dumpster and my car mm -hmm. so i had sandals on for like three minutes today you know otherwise i, I walk around barefoot here you know <clears throat> yeah so th those are some of my stuff. now recently I, I didn't do it by recently why you want to pull yours out a lot? Now I know you you haven't sold as me. You haven't been re reselling a lot. You you want to like pull yours up on eBay and do what I pull do? Up what my what? <laughs> like if you pull up your store, yeah, and then go to items for sale. Okay, so where, where how do I get to my store? I tried to find it earlier, and I was like, it's here. Let me. All right, I'll, I'll walk you through it on my. So my eBay. Yeah. All right. So so start in your eBay, right? Uh, my eBay. My eBay, okay. And then your store name will be up here next to summary. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. I guess that's my... Oh, by the way, see that top-rated seller? <laughs> I'm Where does it say it? I'm blind. Um, okay, I see. So next to my name, okay, let me go back yeah, here. Hold on. Let me switch, drag that tab over next to the StreamYard tab. Now you're you're in your store, but you want to go to items for sale. Okay, here, let me share mine. Would that be easy? You can. And let me show you the right thing. And then you go sold, and then I'll, I'll help you. And then you can sort it here. Like this is recent. Like I sold these. Okay. Today let me yesterday. see if. <clears throat> All right. Oh, items you. for sale. Okay, I see that. So I click where it says items for sale, you said? Yeah, you just want to put on the stream and I'll, I'll, I can walk Okay, through. yeah, here, let me share. And by the way, thanks, Francie, for that comment earlier. I appreciate it. Um, thanks, Matt, yeah. We, we thank, appreciate it. You're always here. You bring in good information. You're, you're kind, good comments. We love having you on and we appreciate it. Um, okay, whenever. Yeah, all righty. Okay, so. Is this where I need to be? This is like what I have. Yeah, now go to the left under the yeah. left and scroll down. Keep scrolling till you get to the sold button where you can keep going a little bit longer. Sold listings right there. Oh, Stop. yeah. Okay. Yeah, click that. And then up the top where it says sort, top right. Yeah. Let's change that to high to low. Uh, with shipping or just hot price? Yeah, with shipping. Price. Yeah. Closer. Yeah, since okay, and then there so you go. in the last, oh, this is what the last however many days, what ninety or something. Yeah, well, no, this will actually do. I think this does all. I think it does all of your sales ever. Well, I have like eighty something. <laughs> I think sales. So those shoes, I were still. They didn't go for that, but I think I took like, I don't know, maybe two hundred oh, or. Gosh, Clay, that tree, that tree I walked by, you sold for $235. Well, no, in the end, I got $150 cash. But if you think about if I'd sold it, I mean, it sold on eBay. And uh, so I got $150. But if you think about e if it had sold through eBay, you know, like her paying, what? Mm -hmm. uh, eBay and Poshmark would have been, what, $30-something? And then... Mm -hmm. If it had been 200, I'd have to set aside 60 something for taxes. So in reality, mm. I made more off the 150. And she sent me oh, a picture yeah. just the other day. She kept it in quarantine for like five days. This yeah. lady has an awesome Christmas room with all these trees like this or wow. something. You know? So, question for you. Really. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, Oh yeah. Do you do you everything you sell on eBay? Do you put local pickup also? Do you check that box? Yeah, yeah. I might I might need to start doing that. I've done that for some of the bigger items. Yeah. Like, what percentage of your sales do you think are local pickup on eBay? Very few. Like there are this, a few, right? This one was only local pickup. You know, like I I had it sh for shipping for a long time, and because I was like, well, I think I can. Sh I'm good enough now. And if not, I'll go to my P.O. box. You know, that lady, Christina, who's worked there 25 years and does Poshmark. I could pay her after it closes, she said, or she'd probably just do it to help me, you know. But I just was like, no, I don't want to have to mess with it. And when it when I got that offer, you know, I was like, fine, you know, maybe it, it would have sold for more. But it was twenty dollars that became, 
I think 20 or maybe 10, you know, became 150. So, you know, but I always ch select that. I don't always chill at select international shipping anymore, but. Yeah, I, um, I always do international. And I, my percentage is pretty low on that, but I, I still get some. Yeah. Um, and then that's the projector that cousin gave me that the guy in England didn't know he's going to have to pay the tariff, but yeah. finally he got it. Oh, oh yeah. Look, there's the book from the cousin. So yeah, look at the, so my top four hey, things in the last few days, fun. how much have I paid? Zero, maybe 20, zero and zero. Yeah. I hate you. Now that canceled, <laughs> they canceled that for whatever reason, oh, like the immediately. The Titanic? Yeah. And I have someone in Chile. I need to figure out. They I emailed them. They emailed me and said, do you ship here? I was like, just supply me a general address near you, like a store. Global on that one. Global might be good. Okay. I'll have you tomorrow. Yeah, walk me through. Then that's my Game Boy that I bought like yeah. 20 years ago. And I think I took an offer. So I don't know if I sold it for that. This uh, someone well, bought the well, other day. That's the person that said cancel it that I text you about. Yeah, because it was going to Canada. Um, Ooh, I like that phone. That's one that's from the garage sale by school. Meh. Yeah, ah. I got two of them. One was, I think they've both sold. If I scroll down, this one still might be waiting for the guy to pay the tariff in Germany. I feel like so. When I'm talking about my, my a new niche to add, like I want to make a bigger percentage of my selling that kind of stuff, Americana. Yeah, and, yeah. And then, I like this stuff. Yeah, retail arbitrage. These I paid thirty two at. Is that uh, a road, railroad lantern. Yeah, that's from the uh, garage sale. Remember that really awesome couple who we thought was like ninety or something that had the wood kitchen tools and stuff that we were like oh. we should have bought everything you bought something that day yeah and that hasn't sold i bought a couple of tunes and yeah i bought a teapot so i sold this one this one went to japan oh wow and i paid two dollars for it <laughs> nice yeah uh and i made some off shipping this was also the garage sale by school i think this was 15 dollars, and maybe it sold for like 45 also, retail arbitrage didn't make as much off this, but hey, it was still, you know, worth the shot. Then from stepmom, I think I took an offer. Yeah, it does. does. Uh, cousin gave me this. So <laughs> I didn't make a bunch off that because, you know, after the taxes and stuff, I'm giving her, like I said, most. But you remember this. Yeah. I bought that for $5. I walked right, I went, by, it. I walked right by it. That just. You know, the student becomes the teacher. Yeah, I went to the car and I looked it up. You're like, you should go ask her. This was after our big last day. Not the one recently, but like maybe in December or something. Uh, and it was down the street. And I went and got all this stuff for like $20. I think this was like 2 or $3. The guy sold me these. Yeah. And you helped me pack it live, I think, or whatever. Or like FaceTime. That's from that lady uh, that you met that we both have texted and you haven't really heard back from, uh, Karen. I paid 10, so I paid a lot, I think. But, hey, whatever, 40. The purse was from her. I'll take 10 to 40 all day, every day. Right? Even this was like 32 or 30, so I'm like, okay. Those are from the bins. These are the pants I need to, I guess, open the case, I think. Yeah. This was the thing I told you, $2. You gave me these. Remember? Mm, Hopper Dunks. Yeah, you gave yeah, me those. Yeah. You were going to donate them. That's a like, weird. That's not a good, by the way, that's a horrible angle to take your first. I know, right? I don't oh, know what it is. Why? Oh. I, that was probably one of those like 1 a.m. pictures or something, you know. <laughs> what are yeah. those? Well, they're not even straight and they're angled a little. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, I think they sold for 25 and I paid zero. And look, shipping was 12 and it probably why cost me like. You? What, what was I doing? Just getting you started? Yeah, and I think you were clearing out the death pile. Oh, okay. You know, Nakona, these are running shorts that were mine. That's I like from our... you, you source on the cheap. I, I need to be a cheaper sourcer. Like yeah, that. well, like these probably cost me like $50. So 
So I lost money, but the way I looked at it, I paid that fifty dollars what like two years ago, and never wore them because you can tell how short they are. Yeah, I thought those were girls for a second. Right. So I bought them. There was a Luke's locker down here by the lake that didn't work out, yeah. and I had I went there like twice looking for his clothes because I went to the Y and realized I didn't have clothes to change into. And even though I live like five minutes away, I was like, I know myself. If I go home, I don't want to leave. So I was like, well, I'll go buy running shorts. I'll get my money's worth. Those mm -hmm. never felt comfortable because they're like, yeah, four or five inch light bulb before, on my old car. You know, Jacob helped me change it out, but I had one left over when I got the Claymobile. Well, don't need the bulb. Those are from Karen. That's from the thrift giant up the street. Base plate. Oh, and then the pillows. Two dollars. The school garage sale. Yeah. yeah. Some of these are like uh, my stuff from Andy. Someone's gonna pick this up. Yeah, I sold it for twenty three. Pull on front first pick though. You need to yeah. do sideways pick on those shoes or a three quarter profile. Yeah. So some of these are like my thing. That's my old swatch there. You know, or you know, like what? these. Brooks Brothers. I paid a dollar at a church garage sale. Twenty-one dollars. Uh huh. You know. That's good. Yeah. So I'll take it. You know. Yeah. Slowly getting there. No, Just, that's good. A trip down memory lane of what's right? always it's always fun when your slow cells are a little slow to kind of look at what you've done. Right. Yeah. To to remember, like, oh yeah, what do I like? I need to go in this toothbrush here. I have several of those and they're not selling for that much. So I need to go in and um, lower the price on the other ones, you know, and maybe I need to run another sale. I didn't do a sale yet this week. I haven't done any sales. I, I, I've told you about sales and then what I, what I do now, and of course I may change in a while, but for now, because when I do a sale, you can't go and edit individual prices. And I like to do that each day. So I drop everything that's about to flip over for 30 days. I got to do that. Do that five percent drop. Yeah, I can show you if you want to see real quick how. Yeah, that. do yeah, yeah. I'll show you that. So I do that, and then I do offers to likers. And I figure if I do that, um, well, that's just the share the screen share. I think. So all right, let me show you real quick. What? I'm so stupid. All right, let me put that back up. So this is what I do, and I don't know. I mean, I think sales are good, but. You can get them without doing sales too. So, uh, same thing. My eBay is actually selling. <clears throat> then go to listings active. If it ever if it ever pulls up, here we go. And then so. On listings active, this will. So I've got 535 active, right? And if you'll go over here, the time left. Yeah. Flip it to the ones that are. Oh going yeah. Fire. Yeah. And so these red ones, like I already did a lot of these this morning. So, like here, I'll just come to. And so, like if the, and I do this in the morning. This I have a time for doing this, and I'll go through all these reds, and it's yeah. real simple. Like here, I'll yeah. do a black one. Um. Just click on it, and then I'll, I'll I'll open the little calculator, right? I'll open the little calculator, and I'll figure out what it is. And so from here, you can just change it. Okay. Right. And that's all you gotta do. So it's real quick and simple. So you can do that for each one. So you can change these prices real quick. Yeah. And so that's what I do. I drop it five percent. I thought about doing ten percent, but I'm like, I like to go high and then slowly come yeah. down. Yeah. And then so after I do that, then I just go to send offers eligible. Like right now I only got two, but usually there's more than two. So you click on this, actions. And that's the watchers, right? Yeah. Okay. Watching so it notifies, yeah, because what the way the watchers work is like on my deal, I'll see someone um, who has just made like the newest watcher, right? Like if I have four watchers, but I've sent out like, let's say <laughs> I, I had a phone to sell. If I get, if I've sent out four offers, that's each time there's a new watcher, right? Is that kind of how the watchers yeah, work? You don't get the same offer multiple times. Like I, it's probably like Poshmark where like on Poshmark in a 90 day period, you won't, you'll only get a new offer if it's like 10% less 
okay previous low offer they don't want like, yeah that's what i thought that it was like but on that lowering the price that does notify all of them so you've got a request i know a video do international a video. shipping please me do international shipping <laughs> see I, I can try but that's oh, yeah. where i admit francie yeah. you might need to because I, I could probably do one but I've, I, all i've done it through is through ebay yeah, you know, like I just put the address on the label and because so you, you did ask about that. I won't do a whole video, but like, all right, so um, instead of quick. through what the global, yeah, shipping? let me just show you. So get, get to your listings, and then there's pirate ship, even has a thingy majigger with that, like these. So let's just say these Kohans, like. Somebody needs to buy these, by the way. So when you come down to the shipping, um, and I, I do offers, allow buyers to remain anonymous. And then the shipping, I do flat rate. Like these are nine ninety five. dollars um, And on the international, so all you, once you opt into the global shipping program, uh -huh. which I just Google that, like I opted in, okay. it was like or something. So then this box will come up. So you click that. But I also write underneath it, there's other shipping options. So on this, you do want to do calculated. Calculated cost varies by location. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you want to, I do worldwide. Okay. And what I've been doing, this is a new um, option that's been up on their, their, their eBay spring update. So it's a relatively new option. It's eBay okay. standard delivery. It's cheaper than GPS, and the buyer um, is responsible if there's any duty. So the duties yeah. are not collected like they are on GPS. So I give them both options. If they want to do GPS, great. Or if they want to do this, which is a little cheaper, and more people for me do this. Like when I listen to Pure Hustle podcast, like Orlando refuses to do this. You mean Orlando? He's Sorry. missing out. That, that's just often. And then you could also do a, uh, a handling cost. like I, Orlando, do, if you're watching, we love you, though. Yeah, I do love your show. It's one of my favorites. And so here you will want to put the – see, I missed out on this. You do want to put the um, dimensions because this is what will be calculated on. So I'll do like a um, – Shoe box. Which I know is 8, 5, 15. I've just sold too many of them. And the then what, the here, shoe box? Yeah. Yeah. Eight five fifteen rounded up. And I yeah. will this is how you can make a little money. I will round up the weight of these shoes. Yeah. They're probably I'm not gonna weigh them. I'm just so too many shoes. They're probably two pounds, one and a half, two pounds. Yeah. But people don't know and I don't know in return. So I will round it up to three pounds. I've started okay. to yeah, because it's part of the handling. That's how I yeah. figure the yeah. handling time for packing. Is I tack a little on the weight or something, because it you know. So that that's just the real. Because yeah, I'll click that. So Francie, I do click the international box on most things, and then I'll just uh, my default is priority mail, unless it's like you know a USPS like medium size you know a box you have to, where you have to choose that or something. But um, did that did that help, Francie? That little walkthrough. I mean, it's not a full video, but and w once you've done that, when they buy it, there's really all right. So it'll still be the same thing. You print your label. The only difference is, is there's a spot for a signature on customs, and I think eBay even pre-populates it now. So it's the same thing. You print out the label, and just like any domestic delivery, so it's it's no extra work. Um, and it just opens you up to more markets. So I would definitely do that. So hopefully that helped. If it didn't, then just, um, just we'll let talk us about it next week. But I don't think uh, it's, I don't even think it's complicated enough even to do a video. Like, like what I just walked you through is it just opt into the global shipping program. Number one, and the, or if you don't want to do that, you could just do what I did. The, you don't have to do the global shipping. You can do the eBay standard. Global. That's what I've done. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. that's all I've done. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so it's just like everything else. You can do it in the priority box that USPS 
um, postal box that we all know that shoes go in or any other box, really, as long as it doesn't say no international shipping. There's a few that say that. And, yeah. uh, it, man, it's, it's, it's just another market to tap into. Now, Francine, Francie, Francine, I don't know if I said Francine, Francie, the, <laughs> when you go to buy that label, it is a little sticker shock, even though they're paying for it. It does hurt a little bit when you see like an eighty dollar label or something like I, I to Japan. An eighty dollar label. An eighty dollar. I think it was like eighty dollars to go to Japan, and I had to buy in like one day. I sent something to Japan, Germany, and like New York or something. I mean, so I bought three, two or three labels, and like the cheapest was like thirty or forty dollars. I mean, I know they're paying you back, but it hurt to be like, uh, you know, to see that. Well, maybe Francie, maybe I'll just make a video of me clicking around with a voiceover, you know, joining the thing or something, you know? Yeah. Well, if you, if you still need it, just let me know, Francie. But I think yeah. it really is. It's, it'll be a real short video. But worst case, just check the international bucks like I do. Yeah, and then there's people have to just <laughs> learn. They have to pay a tariff. Here's the key, right, so here's the key on that, though. You got to make sure you're not. You want to have the exact weight or higher in the dimensions, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or you will pay some money. Yeah, this higher. So I like on that shoe. I know it's going to go on eight five fifteen. I know that. Yeah, and I just know the weight. I've sold hundreds, if not thousands, of shoes that. It's no more than a two pound shoe. So yeah. I just move it up to three to be safe. Yeah. And that that one pound difference in weight may make me five bucks on the shipping, yeah. shipping and handling. Um and I and I, you know, and a, a lot of the shipping is we learn through trial and error, and I've screwed up before. And I even recently I screwed up on on that, that margarita machine. Yeah, yeah. Promotion. <laughs> yeah, the promotion. Yeah, I got you. For free shipping, and then they use that to buy that thing. But even with that margarita machine, it weighed 23 pounds and domestically it's FedEx it shipped for about 23 bucks. So I still made about 70 on it. Would have probably made a hundred or more if I had my stuff together, but it's still okay. Yeah. Anytime I screw up, I just, I don't get mad anymore. I'm like, okay. I yeah. Like it's a learning. Yeah, for sure. I think now yeah. I'm just looking at some other tabs real quick that I'm closing here as we close down. Yeah. I'm like, Maybe I had it set. I feel like on some of the videos I was watching, maybe it's the, I don't know. It feels like it looks like it's the same video for the same people over and over. Oh, well, well, they got a lot of watch time maybe on one video. Yeah. Well, guys, we got eight at the end. Um, yeah. You all eight. I know there's other content out there. And we appreciate Francie and everyone else that stuck around, or even if you went elsewhere and come back. Um, we appreciate the viewership. We love having guests. It was good having eBay Poshman Matt on tonight to get some new perspective. Yeah. Uh, we're always willing to bring guests different perspectives. We kind of like what Kevin says. I think we both like to pick other people's brains because everybody brings something different to the reselling game, right? Yeah. We can learn from each other. And that's what Matt was talking about in Francia. And I appreciate that comment earlier, Francie. Um, you know, we just like to get on here and, and talk reselling and bring people on and just, just have a good time, you know, make some friendships and learn from each other because it is relatively speaking a small community, the reseller network, and we can all help each other. We, we can grow and, and, um, and learn from each other. But what she said, it's, it's crazy. I've been in Europe. I've been to Europe two years in a row, but I'm scared to, Oh, Francie. Oh, I don't know if you saw this earlier um, on Pure Hustle podcast. They had a channel and I forget their name, like Thrifty Travel or something like that. And they travel and they source whether they travel. So like if you're in Europe, man, can you imagine something? Yeah. You be able to find there. Yeah. Um, so check out Pure Hustle podcast and that, that video. My, I don't know. That's been in my mind since I've seen that video. Like, Hmm, if I could go to Jamaica <laughs> source and write that off or part of that trip off. I'm well, sure. I was this week. No, no, not this weekend. Well, no, this weekend, if things had been you know, quote normal, 
I was going to go to uh, Alabama to see my cousin Phoebe, you know, or and and road trip, uh, obviously, and stop at thrift stores all the way down to wherever yeah. South Alabama is. I was either going to go this weekend because it was star test, what supposed to be like yesterday and today yeah. or something, or I was going to go in a month for her graduation and either way be able to write off like the whole thing. Next spring break, well, some of it for me depends if Joe comes back and I'm doing the, the trip, but if it, or work it to go hit that garage sale in Georgia that like. Uh, we might do that one together. I, I, that one sounds fun. Maybe right. I don't know. Well, I forgot to look. I don't know. I know. We, yeah, we'd have to find videos and know what to do. Yeah. Well, you need a truck, um, a truck or a van. Maybe we rent one for a week. Yeah, you can get a de decent flat rate, like 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 that cargo van we did that storage unit in, something like that. Yeah, gosh, can you imagine? Even if we spent five or six hundred bucks for a week renting the van, can you imagine loading that up with goodies? What that would be worth? Because you just gotta like obviously eliminate big crap for the most part, unless it's I don't know. You know, in my head, like the biggest thing you'd probably get is like. Yeah. Some you probably don't want to get the big stuff. You probably want to keep smaller. I don't yeah, know. like unless you fine if you end up a bunch of like uh, how Mike did a bunch of electronics. Well, fine. Well, you could if all right. But, let's just say this. Okay. Well, I'm, we're brainstorming on the fly, right? So you come up with some big stuff. You could always at the next day take it to the FedEx office. You oh need yeah. A FedEx account too, by the way, to get those cheaper rates. And then oh, yeah. Back here. Update my credit card. You know, if it's if it's. Let's say it's a vintage receiver worth a hundred bucks and it costs twenty bucks to ship back and we get it for a couple of bucks, it's still worth money. Yeah. So you know, you stack a few of those together and ship those back. And that's what she was talking about when she travels over when she travels out of the country too. She would do that. She would Yeah. Back. So yeah, that's something definitely to you need to brainstorm between now and next year. I'd love to do that. Um, right. And there's got to be other ones. There's something in like Kansas or Is that the Iowa, one that from Alabama. It's like the 500 mile garage yeah. sale or whatever. Yeah, that's that one. I mean, yeah. One what I thought is Georgia. I don't know. Someone I asked has been Huggins, maybe hmm. hit it for fun or something. To... Oh, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit it for. Well, it'll be fun, but it'll be business, right? If we could get. The, the items we could source, right? Yeah, all uh, sorts of just random. And we things. could write, we could write all that stuff off. We could think about it. The van, purely a sourcing trip. Yeah, the so van, the gas, the hotel. The gas, the hotel, even the food because you're out of state. Yeah, That's yeah. What Vickers was talking about. Boom. Oh yeah. <sighs> see, I'm getting pumped up, man. Yeah. See, so next time I go see my friends, like in Tulsa. I yeah, need to make I, sure I source all the way there yeah, yeah. and all the way back, you know, yeah. or whatever. Well, I was thinking about when we go to Taos, like, you know, go to Taos. I love Taos. Um, or, or even to Colorado. Just, yeah. Know, every couple hours, stop and source. Right? Yeah, Raleigh yeah. Roots did that on the way to a friend's wedding or something. Yeah. All the way up, like, the panhandle. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, we're not, we're not PPAs, but... From everything I've heard. Yeah, yeah, don't trust us. Yeah, get with your own CPA. I don't play one on TV, but I do on stage. But that's what I understand anyway. Yeah, I like that, man. We got to do that. We got to make that happen. Yeah. That'd be yeah. a hell of a trip. Or, and even if there's some event next spring, then <clears throat> oops, we need to take a whole bunch of days in a row off. <laughs> like Brian and Clay, y'all have taken a week off? Yep, sorry. That's when the event is. Check, check out Texas Treasures. Subscribe, smash the like button, comment below, tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please pause it too. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. We'll keep you updated. Well, that's a good way to end tonight, man. I like that. that that's good. And and, and that kind of was kind of bringing all the way back to the beginning, like we were talking about. We this is unprecedented times, but you know you don't want to squander this time. So like I was yeah. talking about sourcing. Storage units, online estate sales, um, talking about doing the watches, um, and, and planning, right? And you're, you're organized. I need to organize. I need to eventually get to my garage. I uh, do some organizing, researching, 
planning, coming up with a game plan so that when we come out of this, we'll get through this and things will bounce back. I just don't know how long it'll take, but that we'll be stronger on the other end. Yeah. So that's good. Oh, last thing. Someone, yep. uh, <laughs> so Francie or Dana. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Some video, another earlier video today, since I actually watched quite a few or listened, they <coughs> talked about how in your eBay listing, if you wanted, you can have a link to your um, <clears throat> your YouTube channel. Oh, it was on this guy, uh, who was uh, the Tesla picker, and uh -huh. he's in Kentucky, and Cincinnati picker, right, you know, commented, they're like buddies, and it's called flippertools.com. He says, unfortunately, it's not easy. You need a special hyperlink code you can find, but you can, if you want, put on your eBay store a YouTube video in the description. I would be scared to do that. I know. It's just people a thought. What sold. Like, what? Oh, yeah. What? He got this for one dollar. He's like, <laughs> true. Oh, that negative feedback. Oh, heck to the no. I would yeah. do that. Do not do that. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess there's bigger guys could. Yeah. I guess maybe if you have a big show where you're you're like like if you're like Rally Roots or somebody. Where Whatever. You're you're selling a lot of your, not a lot, but you're selling quite a bit of your merchandise to your fans. And I bought a thing. And that might be okay. But for like us. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I want to keep, I've got a hundred percent feedback, top rated seller. I'm proud of it. And I want to keep it. Yeah. Well, yeah. All of my feedback. What, I mean, I haven't gotten a lot, but what I have is good. So hey, you get those cars. I, I, I know Mike was against them, but I've seen it. Like, I think it's rally roots. I, that's part of the reason I wanted, I saw it in their videos, but Part of the reason I bought this old school Tampa Bay Buccaneers t-shirt, which I might keep or sell. Um, I literally wanted to see up close what their thank you card was. Mm. What you know? I they don't have, have to find it. It's somewhere <clears throat> here, but huh? They got like a six by eight card up. I've seen it's like up. a yeah, it probably is like the size of something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, all right, let's turn my last name around that way. Yeah, so it's something like that size. And on mm -hmm. one side, it does the, hey, let me know, whatever. And it's real nice and colorful, yeah. you know, or something. So um, my guy, the Fiverr guy, I need to get back to him. I feel yeah. bad. I've taken like a month to decide. But um, uh, he said he'd come up with those too. So I wrote it out somewhere what I wanted, kind of in my words. But basically, right. like, yeah, something simple. Well, one last thing. I was trying to show yeah. this earlier. Um, I think even these business cards, the bang for the buck was so good for these. Um, oh, they get? Let's see. Where do I go to my purchases? You can see I don't buy as much as as I sell. Where's purchases? Oh, there it is. Right above. I started to buy too many things recently. I mean, it, I, I do. I, I will shop on here more if I can. Not much. I bought some sweatpants for me last week. Vintage Nike. They're really soft. Oh, let and me, I bought a pair for Angie. Let me show you this real quick. Yeah. Right? You see, I paid 143 total on this. Oh, Tommy Bernhard. Have you ever watched his show? No. Have you seen him? He's in a lot of chats. His so show started just a little while ago. Yeah. And he might go till like... 2 a.m. or something. His are always late night because he has like a family and he works late night, you know. Yeah, what do you think about this? Just, I mean. Oh, that's the stuff you bought, right? Yeah, there's a Seiko. There's, um. How much was that? 140 something. Okay. I mean, it's a lot of, I, I don't think I'll lose. Worst case, I break even. But yeah, I, yeah. Why not try? Yeah, it's worth trying. And I think I'm going to make money on it. I, that, but I always think I'm going to make money on it. I usually do, but we'll see. Yeah. So, um, bought some books. eBay supplies. Don't forget your uh, your credit. Yeah, coupon. Yeah, I'll probably do that when we get off. I'll go on and spin the new one. These jeans. <laughs> I sold them on eBay, and I, I couldn't find them in my inventory, so I drop shipped these. I lost. Oh, my really? Account. Yeah, I lost, I, and I just messaged this address. It was the same. They're actually better condition than the ones that I had. It cost me about 10 bucks. I lost about 10, but there's the GoPro I bought. Yeah. Wait, where's, where's the cards? Uh, where's 
was like, our oh, last 60 days. I think it's 2020. Some games, some boxes. When did I buy these? Maybe it was last year. Oh, here they are. So I paid forty four ninety nine for these. Yeah, but it's a thousand cards. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I hadn't seen that. Okay, you were saying, but I didn't hadn't seen those. You gave me one of your Poshmark cards. I still have the brown this ones. Is, this is the front. Thank you for your purchase. And on the back, you know, if everything yeah. satisfactory, take a moment, leave pause, and it's down here. Communicate if, if you got anything wrong. And that's so, through eBay. Yeah, and they'll, yeah, well, it's a seller on eBay. I sell it. Okay. And like you can put your store yeah. name, like they'll actually put your store name in here. Like when you order. Okay. It, yeah, I've it. seen a couple people. Like I did a screenshot of someone who was like, I'll design this and print a huge amount, like Vista print or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Now that I have like my cartoon logo, if I want, or the other cool logo i'm just deciding on the colors you know yeah, angie I, I guess i'm not into logos as much I, like i just want to get the good feedback like, i know i do too okay. but but it's like a uniform it's a thing i've always i when i was a kid i used to draw football helmets yeah i know you love your logo i i, I maybe i, I care more about mine but. well hey when, when eventually here i'll make us a banner like i said <laughs> you know so we can each have one. <laughs> well we'll need two because who knows how long we'll be doing this at our separate places oh I ordered, um, gosh, matter of fact, I wonder why it's not here yet. I ordered like one of those LED signs that says Texas Treasures. Oh, oh, really? I need to check on it tomorrow. Like I, it was special design one allegedly, and I need to check. It. Who's that? Is that? Uh, it's where I get my jewelry. I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's very reasonable, but and I and I've sold other signs like that. So okay, I'm gonna write that down. Continue. That's a good idea. Where to plug uh, it in? Yeah. All right. We went out after 10. I said 10 was the goal. We're at 10, almost 1030. And the so last few started. minutes has almost been talk lot like we were backstage kind of, you yeah. know, after the show. So those right. still watching, maybe you've learned something. Yeah, we still got Or you're like, good. logo? Who needs a logo? <laughs> well, it's all good. We, we, we bounce some ideas. Like for me, just summarizing, like looking at my list, Vista print tomorrow, like we were talking about with Scott, to get the cards to um, to let people know we're resellers to get those opportunities, like Mike was talking about. Yeah. Uh, anybody watching? Mike was on earlier, and um, he, he a, a car, business card led to four thousand dollars worth of vintage electronics, and he said his average buy cost was only seven dollars a unit, and some of the vintage electronics can go for hundred dollars plus pretty easily. So I'm gonna get those Vista prints. So to get on that when everything gets back to normal, um, what was my other? Th oh, Francie wants a, a video on international shipping. Probably very short. And you need to check out Harry's channel as, as I try to move more into collectibles and antiques. Yeah, I'm making my, a list now. It's my bullet points. For you want to share your bullet points? So, um, move all my hard goods to storage. Um, upsize my storage unit. I got to decide how big I'll go, but since it's cheap, maybe I'll, I might go to the, uh, 10 by 20, go big. even though I'm at 10 by five, it, it wasn't that much more. It seemed like, I mean, it's like double plus hey, your audio is worse with the headphones. Huh? Sounds like your audio sounds worse now. I don't know. Oh, really? Huh? But maybe it's my internet. I don't know. It could be. Maybe I was closer. I don't know. I'm still learning the microphone too. But uh, yeah. move all the hard goods upsize because also if we do a storage unit and need to stash something in it, we're you know what I mean. Like right now, your garage, my storage has some. But if I move all my hard goods and a few more shelves, a ten by five, uh, yeah. choose a logo, make a short video, maybe just about. I don't know. Could be the storage wall. And once I redo everything here about getting organized, oh, got to call my dad. That's not storage related, but uh, you know about that. Uh, we played phone tag the last couple of days. Yeah. Watch, watch Harry. That'd be a good one to do. Oh, and I, I did leave something out. Um, 
so I got my batteries and I had to order a bunch of different watch batteries. Oh yeah, your wa- yeah. And I and I showed you the one already plays. It's just a vintage um, Timex. It's worth about twenty bucks. No big deal. Picked up for three. But so now I've got all the batteries, so I can I can I've got some more that I can. I got like five, six, seven watches. I'm gonna see if I can get them up and running and get them listed. I still need to get that TV listed. I got at the the free, and I still got suits. So I've still got stuff to list. I've been listing every day though. I That's mean, good. Not as much as I'd like. I'm probably averaging five to ten hey, items. A that's day, still but, growing though. Yeah, but it's 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 slowly getting there. So, and then your I'll, auction. Yeah, and I got the you'll, auction. I'm you'll get notified. Oh, yeah, that's going to take precedence. I'm going to have to go um, pay for that thing and, and, and get that. That'd be a video if I if I win that auction. Yeah, you're um, still current. I just literally just flip just re- like says, this. Well, this is all over um 12 and a half hours yeah that, that's cool that's cool oh me. yeah I, even... I forgot about that i never did you send him any video ever i forgot about that like i i made a video i, I don't think they did so technically i won because i had about a thousand dollars worth of sales and yeah, they and had like 500 or six like kind of did um and i know i beat him but he, he still had some good funds that day so I'm going to say I won. Um, but, yeah, that'd be fun. We need to do a real one. Yeah, Harry. Hey, Harry, we uh, live streamed your show for several minutes. Um, <laughs> it, it's good. Now, Harry, I, I was talking to Clay that like I've, I've done a lot of shoes and I've done clothing and some electronics and a little bit of Ameri- Americana. And I had an antique booth for a while. But I want to move more into kind of I think what you do, like the, the uh, Americana collectibles, antique, vintage stuff. So I'm going to be checking out more of your, your channel to, um, to see what you got for me to, to help, help me learn because we know learning is key. Um, and you know, yeah, we're, we're about to shut this down. We've been saying we're going down. Yeah. We just yeah Harry, I saw, I turned Tommy's show on, on my phone a second ago and I saw your name over there or whatever. I was telling Brian out Tommy and Tracy, this yeah. uh, uniquely me, I think, is her YouTube. She's down in Austin. He's in Delaware, I think. And uh, yeah, Harry, I told him how he'll get to like 2 a.m. I stayed up, Brian, last week watching Tommy. And they have good content, but then they kind of end up like us, just sometimes talking about whatever. And literally, it's like 2.30 a.m. when I went to bed. Yeah, I mean, I could see Here, like... But if I didn't have like a wife downstairs and like... I. I I could probably go like, especially now since our schedule. So like the tomorrow we're technically off. So. Oh yeah. 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 I, I might do a little school tomorrow for next week, but I might wait till Monday. Probably so wait till I, Monday. I, mean, I, I could just go for hours too. Um, yeah. Are you upstairs in the room we've done it in? Yeah. Well, Veronica's moved back in. So I'm set up in yeah. her room, but she's, she, she's out. She's over at um, Andrew. They're all yeah. sequestered. So they don't yeah. go anywhere. We don't go anywhere. That's the only yeah. time. And I was even thinking about streaming from the uh, from the patio with cool. those lights. I might do that sometime, like where we did our first, our very first video on YouTube. That garage. Oh yeah, stuff. the patio right there. Yeah. So that would probably be pretty cool at night. Maybe I even thought, full side. I can yeah. do one full side if I. Uh, I have to get a Wi-Fi extender. The signal gets real bad over there, though. See, uh, I thought I can go right out my patio, and it should work right by the router. Like it's closer than where I am right now. I thought I might hang some lights up outside like some people do on their patios and sit out there, you know, or something. Yeah. yeah maybe I'll try that for next week, depending on. The yeah. Weather. Yeah. We can, we can, we can talk it out. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, it, Thanks that, for that, coming that, back. Yeah. And that dummy, man, that, that ventriloquist dummy, man, that's creepy, dude. That's cool though. And Harry, cool. you can come on anytime you want to come on. If you want to come on next week and talk about. Yeah. Just whatever um, you got, you got lots of good stuff too. So. Yeah, you can come on before your show if you want, and yeah. get a little boot before you go live. Even though a lot, of, it looks like a lot of uh, your viewers or our viewers, our view, I think yeah, they're about the same people. But anyway, thanks for everyone that stuck around tonight. It's been fun. Um, y'all be safe out there. You know, keep learning new things, keep researching, keep finding new ways to store online arbitrage, um, online estate sales. Um, Free pickup if it's safe, as long as you got no contact. There, there's still ways to source out there, guys. Um, 
and work on your death pile if you got one. Be like, yeah. play, organize. Just, get organized, you know, yeah. Get your and, processes and yeah, and then catch up on your sleep. Like, you know, catch yeah. up on your sleep, spend more time with family, read some books, you know, get a little bounce in your life. So I, I'm always a positive person and I, I know this is a stressful time, but you know, I've been trying to focus mostly on the positives, and I think that's what we got where we gotta try to get. Yeah. Brand, get your cards. Um the ones I got are pretty good. You know, you can be like, Clay, get your logo. I, I, I need to get more logo stuff. And, yep, Harry, whenever you want to jump on Thursday yeah. nights. So next Come week, on. yeah. Sometimes we schedule people, but Scott's pretty much every week for, and depends on the kids and dinner. But yeah. Kevin, first time we haven't seen Kevin. So yeah, hope he's, time, I hope he's re just relaxing, like we said. <laughs> but, yeah. It's all good. It's all yeah. good community. All right. All right. Later, everyone. Y'all have a good night. See ya. Peace. Need a guitar to end this with. Can you play the guitar? Play? No, but we can.